Hello everybody, welcome to the last stream in the series where we created the entire game in C from scratch. We created in the past tense because that's it. I mean, we have built the game from nothing. You saw the very first line of code being written all the way to like everything we did. We did like bitmaps and audio and fixed a lot of bugs and improved. Uh, we did a lot of different levels, played around with different ideas for the game. Uh, we punched the, the heck out of it in the last few that we, we implement like a scripting config file system that kicks that we hit a, uh, we press the button and then realize the game isn't finished yet. Well, it, it should be told, as far as I know, the game may have a ton of bugs and, uh, and you guys maybe will be able to play the game and be like, oh my god, you have to fix this now and then this stream will become like a, a haptic bug fixing stream. That, that could be fun as well. I don't know, you never know. I'm not gonna say that I don't want that. I just wanna, I don't know, it's gonna be weird. Uh, anyway, since this is the last stream, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do like the most, kind of the most important thing, I suppose, which is let's release the game because we have developed it from scratch and you saw the whole thing. And today I wanna press this, this awesome green button here for the release app on Steam. And we're also going to release a new chio. We're gonna get uh, right the, 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 the blog thing. I already have the text. I'm gonna do is publish. I'm gonna publish a couple of different things. And uh, then I'm gonna play the game. We're gonna do all sorts of crazy stuff. Let me just review a little bit of what we did. So, so you know, you guys know what we're gonna do now, okay? Well, about two months ago, on my YouTube channel, which is youtube.com slash Dan, I started to program this game uh, live on stream. So yeah, it was like two months ago. And uh, it's making the game in C from scratch. And the whole thing was built on stream. So you can watch from the very first episode and like line of code every well there's also a playlist you can, you can watch the playlist here uh yeah there you go so first we did the platform layer and software rendering we did like gameplay start building the gameplay a couple episodes on the gameplay did some like level design focus on the game the core of the game which is like being able to play different arcade games as breakout then we did bug and improve the game then we that was pretty cool. We started to add like juice to the game. We did like particle systems, rotate rectangles for the particles, and then we improved the rendering. We did uh, bitmaps, and that's everything software rendering. No OpenGL here. Bitmaps and subpixel. We do some pixel art, and then uh, that was pretty cool. We did like a total thing that someone suggested on stream. Then we did the audio system and the mixer. They created a multi-threaded system with a job system, and then made the audio multi-threaded. And that was a that was a lot of work. And there's a lot of bugs all the way to like the last episode, which was like, yeah, episode 23. Yeah. So this thing that we started here on episode 11, which was the async audio, caused us bugs all the way through the last episode. Because but that, that's natural. I mean, you really want to have the first version out really quickly. In these two months, you accomplished more than I did in the last year or so. Well, I don't know. Hopefully, you can see that the hard thing is just being committed. Because even in a two-month project like this, I thought about quitting a couple times, to be honest. And uh, and you can't. I mean, you really have to put that on your mind. Like, I do have to, to, to finish this. And uh, and one thing that helped me out a lot was that this game was kind of in my uh, flow zone, so to speak, right? Because it was hard enough that I would really enjoy doing it, but it was easy enough that I could do the game pretty pretty solidly. Because if you go, if you go to my itch.io page, these are like smaller games I did. My big, bigger game, which is this game, isn't on each it's just on Steam and the PS4. But uh, I did a Pong in C, in like September last year, I suppose. Yeah. So yeah, pretty much one year from now. <laughs> That's pretty pretty much exact. <laughs> pretty funny. So one year ago, I, I did my first official game from scratch in C. So that's where I started learning like really lower level, how to build your engine kind of stuff. And then I did like, then I worked on like a, a startup, which did some web things and stuff. But then, uh, like three months ago, a little over like four, yeah, almost four months ago, I really started doing like, okay, I really want to focus on making games, at least as my hobby, because I worked full time on this game for three and a half years, and I was like another six months on different games. So I worked for like full time indie for like four years, and before that, I also worked on uh, other people's companies, but. Uh, but the truth is, the indie market is really hard. I mean, yeah, everything is kind of hard to make money off, right? 
but uh, making games is harder than than uh, making like enterprise software and stuff. So that's why I decided to make like just for fun, work on games just for fun. So this game was like, okay, this is like, like the style I want to start, like the foundation, right? I want to do everything bigger than that. That's when I started the Break Arcade Games Out game. <laughs> uh, so, so yeah, so the tip is about accomplishing things in a short period of time. It's kind of really, really find what's going to be great for your skill level. It has to be pretty easy because then you're going to be really motivated to get started, but it has to challenge you in some different areas. Like this game is pretty, pretty challenging in the rendering aspect because I haven't done, I haven't done like a, a software rendered bitmaps and rotate rectangles at all, to be honest, before this project. And also, the gameplay of this project was also in my borderline of complexity without using an engine. Because doing an engine, they have all, all the systems kind of a setup for you so that you don't have to worry about like what, how I'm going to structure the levels and the progression, things like that. It's pretty, pretty much done for you. So in this game, that, that's what I wanted to explore. And you can see, when, when I get to show the source code in a bit, uh, review the source code and stuff, it was uh, really hard to get like the most complex game, like Tetris was the most complex game mode of this game. And it was kind of uh, really messy at the end, but that was a learning exercise. So that's the thing, man. If you want to accomplish a lot of things in a short period of time, really find something that's going to challenge you, but not in an impossible kind of way. Because I do have kind of a couple of impossible projects that I want to, I want to build. I actually want to start in an impossible project in a couple of months, to be honest. But uh, I don't know. Well, it's hard to get uh, those setup systems most of the time. You mean like the, the very beginning of the project? It's hard to get to use those setup systems. Uh, well, usually the beginning of the project is where you're going to really be motivated, right? So that, that's, tr that's the tricky thing because when you're really motivated, you, you can even see like, I'm not sure it's going to be easy to see or not, but the first stream, let's say, was uh, like, easy. like, yeah, f uh, 5th of July. Then the second one was like 6th uh, of yeah. July, right? And then it was like 7th like and like 11th. Yeah, so the first couple of streams were really like one day after the other. And uh, that's when you're really motivated, right? So you to get engine to, to get what you want. Okay, yeah, I, I know exactly what you mean. And uh, when you're making a game from scratch, actually in making any kind of game, to be honest, you really have to focus on the gameplay as soon as possible, even if it's going to look really different from uh, the final version, right? So if we go to my Twitter, I think I posted that. Let's see a couple. It's, I, I think it's also on my YouTube channel. There's like a progression uh, video or something. Yeah. So, uh, like, for this game, we wanted, like, async audio. We wanted bitmaps. We wanted a, a good feeling and camera shake, all sorts of systems. Like, and our engine had to support. Like, we needed a good audio system because we also did a couple, a couple of crazy stuff on the music. Like, we synced both the main music and the gameplay music. We also did like pitch shifting to make the sounds uh, uh, with variation and stuff. So this is this is a lot of hard work, as you could as I could see in the whole development on the live streams. But the the key thing here is like in the first episode was our engine setup, which was like. I don't know, like two hours, two, yeah, two and a half hours of engine setup. Uh, okay, and then in episode two, I already had the first version of the gameplay. Of course, it looks pretty bad. It looks pretty bad, to be honest. But uh, you can already play the game and have an idea of the game, right? So the setup is not actually getting the engine to do what you want, I would say. I think the setup has to be like super minimal. And uh, th that's what I'm going to do in the... In the well, not, not the next uh, couple streams, but like in a couple of months from now. I want to focus on getting a nice, like, uh, uh, not like a full engine yet, but like a basis for making games and like game jams and stuff. Uh, but the key, man, is to make like, even though you want like full bitmap support and like maybe multiplayer and whatever, you can imagine a crazy game that you want to do with your own engine, right, from scratch. The key is to start from the very simple things. And like, if you have like the, the ability to draw bitmaps, uh, oh, well, I mean, rec rectangles, that's enough. You don't even need, like, OpenGL to do, like, the very prototype of the game, right? And it's pretty bad. It feels really bad, but uh, it's enough to get you started both in terms of motivation and in terms of, like, getting to, to feel what the game is going to be like. Because if, if you want to improve the game, you have to iterate that a lot. Like, in episode 4, we started doing, like, the power-ups. 
and, and like different weird game modes and stuff. So that was pretty cool. It was cool that uh, we managed to really quickly uh, ha have like the setup, as you said. So that's what I recommend. I recommend that you start building the gameplay, uh, the very core of the gameplay, right? Super easy. Like in episode five, we had like what was we gonna launch now, pretty much. But it's not robust, and it doesn't feel as well, and we don't have all the systems that we needed, like the MD, like particle systems and bitmaps and all that stuff. Uh, so yeah, I think that's the that, that's the biggest thing. Uh, in the beginning, you really don't want a lot. You just want the very simple systems that you can uh, start building the game on. And then later on, you can do like after that, we did like multi-threaded. Then we did the save system, the menu, the sounds, implementing the sounds, and that's all, all engine things that uh, if we want to do like in the beginning, if you set up down to like ten episodes of engine before the game, we wouldn't get a lot of stuff done because we, we wouldn't have like a north, right? And we wouldn't be that motivated as well. Right, finishing the mixer, yeah, right. We didn't finish the mixer at this point, for sure. <laughs> uh, text drawing, that was also pretty complex. If we want, well, if we start the game, oh, by specifying these things, okay, so we want to like have a text drawing system, then we probably would have to import a font, and those things would be really a lot more work than we needed. Uh, and this thing, we just did like a very ad hoc uh, text system, and improved on that on a couple streams afterwards. And that was enough for this game. So, yeah, I mean, just, just like do the absolute minimum to get you started. And then you'll see whenever you can uh, improve. So at this point, we did the optimization and built the profiler. So if we wanted to do like an engine to do what we want, then we'd be, okay, let's draw like a million particles. And then we spent like hours and hours and hours optimizing that, uh, even, even though we didn't actually need it to, to release this game, at least. Animation, oh, this is pretty cool, man. We did like a lot of small animations and stuff. Uh, and then we did like the uh, animated level transition. That was awesome as well. This, this was the, the Tetris live stream camera camera screen shake. Screen shake. We finished we finished the collision at this point. We made like a proper asset system because the game, the game even uh, well, let's see. The game even outputs a uh, a pack file. They pack all our sound and assets and uh, music together. That's pretty cool as well. Uh, yeah, that, that was like in the very last thing. I mean, in a couple, the last major system was like episode 21. That was 100% engine. If you wanted to do like, okay, we're going to do bitmaps for this game. So we should have like an asset system. And then you start doing this. I mean, I want to experiment doing that as well, to be honest. Because it probably leaves you with a more robust, reusable engine, which is good. But it's not good if you're not like super productive. So maybe you really want to get, like I said, like, like this progression here, like like a super small game, a little bit more complex game, a little bit more complex game with bitmaps. This was the tutorial I'm, I'm building. This was like a game jam. Hopefully the next one's gonna be even more complex with like more bitmaps and more animations and uh, more levels and cool stuff. Th that, that's the hope. And then we're gonna use OpenGL and I wanna live stream a lot of that as well. So it's gonna be pretty, we're gonna be pretty excited. So, uh, the plan for today, after we see what we got and where the game is at, right, is, so this is the plan. First of all, we're going to release the game, which is just pressing this button, right? Just like a, a naughty quack said, just push the button to finish the stream. But we have to build that up. I mean, I mean, we've been building it up for two months, right? If you guys followed along the, the series, you watched probably like 70, 78 hours or something of development so far. So you guys can wait like a 10 minutes or so. So we have to build this up because this is a pretty pretty special moment for this game. Even though it's a small game and we did like that in two months, it's awesome <laughs> to be able to to do that. And then I'm gonna really uh, I'm gonna write the Steam event. I already wrote, wrote that so I have like some cool text. It's been quite a journey. I'm gonna read that when, when we publish. <laughs> Kappa face. <laughs> yeah. We're gonna have to sit tight for a while before we, we press this awesome green button. <laughs> it's funny because uh, when I release the game for the PS4, the PS4 release is automatic. I don't actually, uh, we don't actually press a button on the release date. So we were like pressing F5 to see that the game was in release date. It was kind of a ch checking out the store to see if the game was released on the PS4. So that was pretty crazy. Uh, but on the Steam, I don't know, it's kind of weird because you control 100% of it. But uh, yeah, I don't know. I think it's nice to press the release, but to release app button. I 
think I like that. It has like a visceral feel to it. I don't even remember what happens when you press the button. Because I did that like two years ago for my other game. So I don't know if there's will be like, are you sure you want to release the app? <laughs> Probably there will be something like this. You guys are going to see. <laughs> uh, okay, so we're going to post that on Steam. And then we're going to release the game on each I.O. Because the game has been on each I.O. for some time, to be honest. As I was posting the streams on YouTube, I was posting the source code on each I.O. Because you can, you can download the source code from the very first stream if you want to follow along. I can maybe build your own games and things like that. So you can do that with each I.O. And I've been doing that for the past two months. Uh, so now, what I want to do is to press the uh, the finished game button. Let's see. Yeah, release. Yeah, the part is complete. And uh, let's see the button works web these days. Exactly. I mean, for all we know, my internet connection could drop, and then I don't know what would happen. I'll probably have to stream again, and then we'll have 25 streams, not 24 streams. But uh, yeah, I'm not counting on the web. I'm just counting on just luck, sure luck, to be able to to release the game. Because I don't know, man, making a game is so hard that you really need like luck in the process. And luck is pretty interesting too, because kind of a thing about luck is that probability exists in everything. Like when, when you do like a crazy new system, there's like a probability that's not gonna work. The way that you hack probability is by making a lot of stuff, right? Because if you do like 10 games, the probability of one of them uh, receiving like more uh, visibility and stuff is really higher. And uh, it's gonna, you're also gonna be better at it, right? So, but since this game is just this game, it might as well, might as well crash for, for all I know. So, <laughs> go back to the plan. Then we're going to release the devlog on itch, both uh, the game devlog and the community devlog. And then I'm going to release uh, the devlog on the uh, Handmade Hero Network. Handmade Network. I'm not sure if you guys know this page, which is awesome. And they just approved my game there. Handmade Network is a project inspired by Handmade Hero, which was pretty much what I taught me how to program. People ask me a lot on stream, like, oh, uh, how, how do I learn how to program, things like that. Handmade Hero is the thing. The, the bummer is that it's not for beginners, like absolute beginners. You kind of have to be like intermediate level. That's why I'm building, I'm building like these projects. This project is meant to be like a Handmade Hero, how to program your own game from scratch and stuff. For more beginners than Handmade Hero is, just like the uh, this other uh, tutorial series of mine, how to program your game in C++, it's like a super beginner tutorial, but it's not like I've never programmed in my life tutorial. I, I really plan to do to do those like next year or so, but those are hard because uh, I've been programming for so long that I kind of, uh, you have to really remember some of the important stuff that you kind of do automatically at this point, which is kind of interesting. Uh, so yeah, so after this project, after the Handmade Hero project, people created the Handmade Network, which actually was created by Abner Coinberry. And that was pretty cool. And then people started to making all sorts of crazy projects. Like this handmade here. Then there's 4Code, which is the editor I use. It was really cool. Then there's like programming languages and operation, oper operating systems. And all oh, debuggers. And here's my game, right? So they approved me on the handmade network, which is pretty cool. Uh, I, I really like the people. They are really awesome. Whenever you have like a question I ask there in the forums, people are really, uh, really helpful. Uh, and they really have this sense of like, let's build cool stuff, right? Even though it's hard, <laughs> but it's also fun. So we have that in our favor. So, so he, here in the, in the handmade uh, network of the game, which is break dash arcade dash game dash out dot handmade dot, dot network. Not only you can download the game in the source code, but you can also see uh, here in the forums, you can ask questions and stuff. There's also like the full uh, episodes here. So you can watch like, every single episode here in order. And I'm also going to do like a summary for each one, but it's gonna take a while, so I'm gonna do that later on. Oh, I just started the video, it looks promising. Thank you for so much time. It's the final game, good hard acceleration. See, people really like hard acceleration. That's why the next the next part is gonna include, uh, let me just answer this guy. Uh, that was pretty cool. Uh, thanks for your comment. I'm Glad you are liking it. Uh, for this project, we shipped, well, I shipped. No episode guides? You know, I almost put an episode guide. I even talked with Bibble, which is the guy who does the episode guides. But if truth be told, uh, it's a lot of work for him 
right? Because it's like 80 hours of content. And uh, I had to like help him financially and stuff. Like it's a job, right? So I had to hire him to do the episode guides. And uh, he lives in like in the UK and I live in Brazil. And his currency, which is like the UK, I don't know, pound, right? The pound is like five times as expensive as the Brazilian real. And uh, so it's kind of, a, it was kind of a, like really five times more expensive as it should have been, so to speak. And the minimum wage there is way bigger than here as well. So there's another thing on top. So I'm not going to be able to, to hire that service for now, which is the absolute guide. Hopefully, uh, I don't know, if people want to contribute, if you download the game on each you can uh, you can send me like a, a, a tip here. Uh, if I'm not going to tell how much I need, right? Because it's kind of a... <laughs> between him and I, right? Kind of a, not very really cool, but if I do have enough donations here, I could make an episode guide. That would be really, really cool because then it will be really more useful for people. Uh, for this project, I shipped the, the software render, which was a great learning experience, like adding. It maps optimizations sub pixel rendering etc. Today it's really more like a more open ended stream, just to be clear, because we did like like twenty three episodes of like full development. So today is gonna be like a more you guys can ask questions, we can chat about everything. We're gonna release the game, we're gonna press this awesome button, and then there will be cake. I forgot about t uh, telling people on the, the recording there will be cake. There will be cake according to plan. If the cake is not a lie, there will be cake in the end. So, yeah, I'm not sure. I'm just saying that there will be cake. The cake may be a lie. So, yeah, we did a uh, software render, which is great for learning experience uh, for the next project. I intend to do the rendering using Arbit acceleration. You can uh, follow me on YouTube to, to get notified when that releases. So I'm going to plug him into my YouTube channel. YouTube. Because that's also important, right? Because, I don't know, I've been getting a lot of subscribers, which has been really cool. I mean, like 724, that was awesome. I'm really, really glad people are really liking what I'm doing. So, oops. So, yeah. So, I'm going to keep doing what I'm doing because people are enjoying it so far, so. <laughs> okay, so, so, I, so we're going to release a new blog post on Break Arcade Games Out on the uh, Handmade Network. And after that, we're gonna post on Twitter, release the source code on Steam. The source code on Steam is uh, as a free DLC, right here. Source code for Break Arcade Games Out. So we're gonna release that as well today, which is another pretty uh, pretty green button. It's a different green button. Uh, if I go to like the dashboard, let's see. Oh, do I have to log in again? <laughs> That's what a program that will do all that in a single button press. But is it going to be a, a button, like a green button, like a stage button? I, I don't think so. So, for all I know, we're going to have to use Steam's green button. And also, pressing more buttons is cooler than pressing one button, right? I mean, that's why games exist, right? So, I'm going to like press, click here, prepare for release and stuff, configure and publish. That's what I'm going to do. So, there's more green buttons on the source code uh, free DLC. Then there is in the other, the main, uh, the main game. But, but this one is like more. It'll be an awesome button. Well, if you send me the art, maybe we could like, we could like pretend that we're pressing the, that button on stream, and then we press like lots of buttons, because it's cool to add a lot of stuff. Like, if we were to release like a game a week. Which is like if we were like a mobile company or something, <laughs> then we could make like one button 
one awesome button to release the game and do everything, right? So add an event, and then I'm gonna add like some Steam community stuff, like how to download source code, how to play the game windowed, how to unlock the FPS, everything like uh, was configured in the uh, config file that we uh, implemented in a couple last streams. <laughs> like we parse this file, like we parse this float, parse boolean and stuff. That's pretty cool. Uh, and then, then that was it. Then we can play the game. Then we can play the game uh, and feel really happy that people can now download the game on Steam. And then we can eat the cake. Okay? And then we'll know if the cake is a lie or not. Okay? And I think I'm just going to release the game already. And then we can like review the source code, play the game again. We can play my other game. I think I'm going to do... Oh, I almost clicked the button. <laughs> I think I want to play this game as well because I, I just added as a pretty big discount so my 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 other game the game that I released like before is uh, is on a huge discount on Steam like 60% I, I mean it's like 79.9 reais if you get that on dollars I think the game is like ten dollars should be like should be like four, five dollars I think it would be something like I almost ruined it. Yeah, uh, I don't know. <laughs> if you don't ruin it, it's not fun enough, right? So I, I probably have to ruin that. Ruin it at some point, at some level, right? And I'm also going to play this game, I think, which is pretty cool. Okay, so I think I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna release the game. Do you guys have any questions? Do you guys want to talk about anything else? Like, we're gonna talk about a lot of stuff still. But uh, I don't know, we've been like 20, 26 minutes into the stream, whatever. I think we can press the green button. Okay? And uh, it was awesome making the game live. So thanks a lot for, you know, watching live streams, asking questions, watching on YouTube, subscribing, all that stuff. People already donated a lot, to be honest. Uh, so it was really cool that uh, people could, uh, yeah, people did... Uh, really support this game, to be honest. So I'm really glad that uh, it happened. So it's been a really awesome experience. And hopefully there'll be many more games that I'll be able to, to make on this kind of system. Because my other game, I made like three and a half years under a rock. I mean, pretty much nobody knew that I was making the game. I mean, of course, I had the people who helped me out and stuff. But uh, it was really weird. And then we, in like in the last year, we traveled all around Brazil to present the game in like big events and stuff. But it's different. I mean, it's different from like having the engagement. Like you guys saw the development, you guys had other guys gave ideas, right? So I really want to try games like this uh, for the next couple of games, and hopefully the comp uh, the complexity will be increased, right? So just like the other guy asked here on the uh, on the forums, he asked like, "Oh, it's going to be hardware accelerated?" Well, not this game, but the next game will be hardware accelerated, and. Uh, and then it'll be like more interesting mechanics and hopefully the next game will be even more complex then we can, we can get to like 3D games again. Because I, I want to make really complex games, guys. But uh, I'm really taking one step at a time, first of all, because I'm not full-time in this anymore. It's just a hobby. And second, because, like I said, like I was talking earlier, it's really interesting to do like the step-by-step -step approach where you kind of, uh, you are in the edge of your skills. Because this project, I wasn't at the edge of my skills. I was like way beyond what I could do. Since, uh, I'll, I mean, a lot of people said a lot of cool stuff in terms of re reviews and stuff, had a lot of positive reviews, but there were some pretty bad ones. Like, well, not pretty bad, but that was like, yeah, see, he said like buying full, full price was like out of the question and stuff. Well, but we are in a pretty, pretty good sale. So, <laughs> yeah, so a couple of people thought that wasn't like very solid mechanics and stuff. That's because this game was way out of my skill reach at that time. So that's what I don't want to do. I want to do like, right at the edge so it's i'm confident that i can build like a good uh solid game that skill but uh also gonna challenge me to to you know become a better programmer and better game designer and stuff so that's what i think i achieved this game this game was perfect when i first started uh you can watch like the very first stream on youtube and you can say that uh my my intention which was to like to learn to teach and to have fun i think we pretty much achieved all these and i learned a lot and I think you guys learned a lot as well, based on our comments, right? And also was really fun. So hopefully the next part we're going to start making everything bigger and bigger in this uh, idea, right? And uh, yeah, I think, I think that's it. You know what? In 10 seconds, I think I'm going to count down 10 seconds to release the game. 
Okay. Yeah, that was fun. <laughs> yeah, man, I really like that uh, people liked. A lot of people d did say that it was fun, so uh, thanks a lot. Okay, so I'm gonna count down for the for the release of the game, right? Uh, how many of you guys released the game on Steam before? That would be pretty cool to know. Like, uh, when I first released my game on Steam, I was like super nervous. This game is really just for fun, so even if everything explodes in the web, it makes it impossible for me to press this button. I think that'll be fun uh, still, so. It's good, even though now it's really easier than it was like 10 years ago, or five years ago, or like two years ago <laughs> when I released my other game, because that was like green light at that point. Uh, even though it's like way easier, it's still really cool to have a game on Steam, and it feels awesome. So let's count down, okay? So, uh, 10, 9, uh, 8, 7, <laughs> 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, okay, I think nothing happened. Could you hear the sound? I pressed the button. I think I'm gonna have to press again. Oh my god, the button is not working! Is this... Okay, okay, so... <laughs> when I press the button... It, th things appear down here, so I didn't actually see it because I, I have like super zoom. Yeah. <laughs> False start. Yeah, called. <laughs> so you were right. You're 100% right, man. You you've been calling a lot of, a lot of things correctly. Maybe you can guide. Maybe you can give like numbers for like the lorry or something, right? Because your calls were like perfect. <laughs> Press the button and it appeared down here. Okay, so use the publish now button. Okay, so it's not start to release that button. That's not the important button. The important button is publish now. Will immediately make your game publicly. You make your product available for our customers to purchase, download, and play. Now, in this case, it's free, so no one's gonna uh, purchase the game, right? Don't push this button until the moment you are ready. Is this the moment we are ready? This is awesome. <laughs> it's funny because in my other game, I was so nervous and not not like lighthearted. You really have to approach these things, important things, like really hard, lightheartedly. And for this game, also I have like a plan for what to do in the next couple of weeks, like. I'm gonna do like a source code walkthrough. I'm gonna do, I forgot, but I have everything written down. So everything's cool, man. Everything is like awesome. Here are the actions that will be performed in the process of release. See, so if we made that program to press the button uh, automatically, for like press one awesome button, we wouldn't, we would have missed, right? We wouldn't have released. So it's not the same thing. You have to press one button at a time, and there are like two buttons. Uh, here are the actions that will be performed. If you wish to execute any store packages, exclude, right? Uh, please deselect. We don't want to deselect everything. So the primary package, that's the package. It's hidden. It's going to be hidden, right? Because it's like free. So, But it's going to be public, so to speak. It's stressful enough to press one button, but they wanted to press two. <laughs> well, it depends. Like I said, man, when I first released the game, my other game, like two years ago, I was like super nervous because, oh, is that going to work? How, how much the game going to sell? And I kind of, I was kind of expecting the game not to sell anything at all, and it didn't, <laughs> to be honest. But uh, you also, you also kind of, you have to have a certain expectation, even though it's like, if it's like no expectation, right? So everything is how, how you deal with it, like. So yeah, that's the thing, man. Now I'm gonna, I'm gonna count to ten. Hopefully, I'm gonna count better this time, and then hopefully this button, right? We'll, we'll actually do what we wanted to do. So, the apps will be playable on Steamworks, will be released, and the, the store page will be public and date down to now. Okay, so that's what we want. This is the moment. This is the moment. You are correct. So, 10, again, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. I don't know if there will be another button. I don't know. Well, there is another button. There is another button. There are three buttons. <laughs> I guess people, people on Steam, there's a third button. People really want to make sure that you really want to release the game, right? Because maybe you are not sure. Maybe you press like release now, release my, my app. I want to do it. Let's do it now. And maybe uh, you're not, you don't want to release the game. But, uh, well, I think, I think this is the last button, because usually it's three, like, like in a game, where there's like a quick time event or something, like, there's like a huge door and I have to kick it open, like, so I kick, and then nothing happens. 
They do kick again, and nothing happens. But the third time, so the third button is the button. I can already smell the cake. Can you guys smell the cake? Maybe maybe I'll give you guys time to, to go get some cake, so we can all eat cake at the end. I don't know if the cake is alive or not, but hopefully we can celebrate. Oh, Valve kick out to three, Half-Life 3 confirmed. I don't know, man. This button is not like active, so maybe Half-Life 3 is not in active development. I think that's the thing. It, it can't count like through three full buttons. So yeah, so this button doesn't work. I have to I have to say please release my app. Yeah. Third time's the charm. It is true. And it's funny because this is my second release on Steam. And uh, now I wanna I wanna do like smaller games, not release on Steam like for a time, and then do a bigger game and release that on Steam. So hopefully third time is gonna be the charm for me as well in terms of release because this game is gonna be free, so I don't expect to be like to be successful or anything like that. This is just for fun, just for you guys to learn, just for me to learn. Uh, but maybe next game, which my third third series release, uh, maybe that'll be the, the the charm, right? That could be cool as well. So release my app. Please. Okay, so I can't ask please. I just have to say release my app. Uh, they build your anticipation just to reconfirm your excitement, just to make sure what you are committing yourself to. That's the thing. But uh, if you haven't planned for this day, and this is a small game, like two months, right? And just for fun, a free game and stuff. And I already playing a lot of stuff for this game. If you're doing like a more serious game where you really care about the release, you probably plan this like way ahead of time and also have like what you're going to do next set up. And that's the problem. When I released my other game, I, I felt so empty and depressed. I didn't actually know what to do, right? Because I was just making that game for like three and a half years. And then when I released, I was like, okay, what do I do now? If you don't have a plan bef uh, for after the release, not only the game is going to suffer, but you're going to suffer as well. So I did suffer a lot. I was like for like couple weeks really oh my god what, what, I do, what, what, what am I gonna do with my life because the game didn't sell anything so I couldn't I couldn't keep making what I was making because I really wanted to change something I really had to change something right in terms of like the way I was doing the game games and stuff so so yeah it is to build up the game. so so uh that experience is really different from this one this one's really cool so I hope you guys are all on board because I now believe that this is the last button and when we press this button it'll be available on Steam you guys can download it Okay, and then we can play together. I, I am going to, to, you know, make the blog post. Maybe I'm going to play a little bit. I'm going to play a little bit, then I'm going to do, like, the blog post and stuff. This is it. Okay, so this is it. You called it. You've been right all the time. I, I still, I, I asked you for, like, the lottery numbers, man. Because you've been right. You said this is it. So this is it. No, you can't go back now. I'm going to count to, I'm going to count to, to three this time. No, I'm going to count to, to ten, because I'm getting better at this. Okay, so let's go, let's go. Ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, okay, it's loading, has, has to load, right? Otherwise, you, now this is the real anticipation, right? Because like, okay, maybe there'll be a weird error. Maybe people are gonna hate my game. Oh, this is like, this is really bad, man. I don't remember this. I, I must have really died when I found this. It's, going to, it's taken a long time, to be honest. Wow, you know, time out. <laughs> yeah, connection timed out. <laughs> if you're excited, it's... Okay, no, so this is it. So this was... That was not for the faint of heart. So I think that's it, man. All publishing tasks have been complete. Well, but I do have the release app button again. <laughs> Your application is not visible on Steam Store. It worked, or did it work? The load time, though. Yeah, I don't know, man. I do have another release app. I think I think if I press F5, probably going to disappear this button. But I want to click this button again just for the fun of it. I, I want to kind of glitch Steam, so maybe it can release like twice. I don't know if that, that'll work. But it says it's now visible. Uh, it may take up to 10 minutes for a product to appear uh, in the new releases. But you can view your store page immediately by following the link. So let's see the store page. And uh, hopefully it'll not be coming somewhere that I post the link to the game. I can post the link immediately for you. This is the game. This is the game we just released. And it is released. So it's free. You can now you can play the game. I mean, you could play the game before, right? On HIO, but now it's on Steam. We released it, and that's my second Steam release. It's awesome. The second one's really more fun. Just live stream this thing. I, I really regret. I mean, live streaming was such a wasn't such a big thing when I released the other game, but it was pretty big, actually. But it wasn't that big. 
If I, I really wished I would have live streamed the game. Uh, not only it's more fun, but it really approaches more, more like soft hearted, like light hearted. That, that's what I mean. I mean, I, I can just, I can barely remember, but that wait, that uh, event loading, like for like one minute or so, must have been like, must have been really painful for me <laughs> because I was scared to death, and uh, and oh man. Uh, it was really hard because, like I said, I was like way, way above my head at that, at that point. So, uh, I had so many errors. Like I did certification on the PS4, and I actually no, had no idea what I was doing. So it was really hard. It was like uh, I tried one thing, there was an error. Then there was another thing, and then keep trying weird things, right? But uh, but I'm gonna try to release the app again. So let's see. I'm not sure what's gonna happen. I'm just gonna click this button again. We know that this is only the first out of three buttons, just like half life is the first out of three games, right? <laughs> but uh, I'm gonna try to release the app again. Okay, so nothing happens. So the app, the app is already released. I'm gonna press F5, and I think we are good to go. Yes, we are good to go. It says hidden, but uh, for free apps, it says to remain hidden even after release. So we're gonna have to deal with the hidden. It's kind of sad. Because the price is free. The price is free. So the app is released. App is released, dude. We are released. So it was awesome, man. I mean, I have now documented on my YouTube channel. You can go to my uh, Making a Game and See from Scratch. I love how the system graphic grab no need. <laughs> There's no need for graphics. <laughs> Every release. Hello. How are you doing? No large discount. I'm sorry. I you know I should have done like negative discounts. Just like we have like negative interest rates, we should have like negative discounts for release for this game. So, so actually the launch price will be minus ten percent. Actually minus minus ten percent. So you would actually have to pay uh, zero. Congratulations! Thanks, man. You're doing great. Awesome. It's awesome. <laughs> I, I had the option of adding a launch discount, but I didn't even try. I should have tried it just for fun, just to see what would happen. See, w w double negative pricing, exactly. <laughs> when you approach this lightheartedly, uh, it's really fun to just do the, the cake smell is killing me. The cake smell is like crazy. Oh my God, there will be cake in the end. I don't know. I don't know if there will be cake. If you guys want to peek on the cake, I don't know, maybe the cake will not be alive. Uh, five megabytes. Yeah. Oh, so guys are making fun about the no graphics, right? So, I think uh, answering this guy on the Hemi Network saying that uh, the game will not show uh, the live streams will not show how to make uh, hardware rendering. Maybe this guy's disappointment was your happiness because I could then uh, just say no need for graphics. All you need is like a, a, a potato. Any potato you have lying around. <laughs> but it has to be a 64-bit potato. <laughs> we could have made this game 32-bit like pretty easily, but uh, there's really no need at, at this point. So we have a uh, need a 64-bit potato, okay, as a minimum requirement. Yeah, and five megabytes. You need, you need. Uh, I said I said 10 megabytes here because I don't know, man. Maybe maybe you only have like five megabytes on your PC available. And then Windows is going to download a 10 gigabyte update. So in this case, I asked for 10 megabytes so that there's like a line here or something. Yeah. So I asked for nobody was exactly, man. Nobody was 32 bit anymore. I mean, so, but it's weird because the CPU is pretty much higher than 32 bits still. And uh, so are like a lot of Windows stuff. So yeah, you guys probably have to leave it overnight downloading the game because it's like, have to download for five entire megabytes. Uh, and it's funny because the, the, the data is actually 5.6 megabytes, but I'm pretty sure Steam compresses it. Let me try to like zip that or something. I'm pretty sure Steam, yeah, then it's like 4.5. Yeah, this is pretty much correct. And uh, Steam, the Steam uh, uh, Builder stuff is pretty pretty cool, the way it diffs the files. I really like it. So that's it. We released. We have an app state release. And for my other app, let me show you guys here as well. That's pretty cool. This app that 
We're going to play this app today as well. We're going to play both of them. It's going to be really cool. This is like the, it's almost two years. It's a little bit over two years old. We released it on 15th of August, 2017. Uh, this has a huge discount. So let, let me see. Let me go to, yeah. Iliosis Hunt also released. Oh, awesome. So I have like two release apps. Can I, re yes, you can disable VSync. I'm going to have to, to make that up. Uh, if you go to your Steam, uh, Steam pay, uh, Steam uh, install folder, whatever. So like C program files, Steam, uh, common apps. So if you, uh, well, Steam apps, common. So if you go to your Steam, this is mine, right? If you go to your Steam uh, install location, you can go to break arcade games out. Then there's the config file. If you open up the config file, you can set the locked FPS to false. So that's how you unlock the FPS. So that's going to try to... 5 megabytes next now. You already downloaded 5 megabytes, man? Are you sure? I, th I think we have to verify because I don't know what sort of, what sort of internet, internet connection you have, but because I don't know. This game has a lot of stuff in graph to me. The, the requirements for graphics is really hard. I tried to do that to, to be like, to have fewer requirements, but I had to do this requirement. So, yeah. But, but I'm glad that you find it worth it. That's the point, man. That's, uh, that's kind of a joke, but it's not a joke. Uh, today, people have 60-bit computers, 64-bit computers. And, oh yeah, only 1% use, use the 32-bit OSs. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. So, uh, oh, I forgot what I was saying. Oh yeah, people, uh, if I go to like the Steam Hardware server, survey, just like uh, ADM244 said, I can see like how much RAM people have and stuff. If people have on, on average like eight gig, uh, gigs of RAM, why would you make your your game only take like two hundred fifty six? And it doesn't take like I'm not sure how much. Oh, let me just see. We're gonna play the game, but let me just see how much of RAM it actually takes. Probably nothing. Let's see. Uh oh, fifty three megabytes. Oh, because we're playing on four K. Yeah, since we're playing four K, it, it does need a lot for it to like the, the graphics and stuff. It's funny because since I, I didn't do the Steam SDK for this game, you can you can watch from the Steam page and it doesn't require Steam to be honest, which is a good thing I suppose. Uh, so I'm gonna go back to my to do and say, okay, we released the game on Steam. We did we did it, everyone. So yeah, what I was saying before we kind of got distracted is that now on the full playlist. Uh, you can now watch the entire development of a game from scratch. We developed the engine, the asset system, the rendering, uh, the config file stuff, crazy stuff. From scratch, all the way to the beautiful green button on Steam. That was awesome. That was really awesome. Thanks, thanks to everyone that uh, that uh, helped me out on st on stream and stuff. Had me out debuggy assembly code, right? I did study a lot of assembly this week. So if I went back to like last stream. And uh, I think I'm on a way better position now to to be able to... Yeah, three green buttons. <laughs> you are correct. <laughs> you are correct. There were three green buttons. Uh, so, Steam event. So, let, let's just add the Steam event for the game. Uh, the new event system, I really liked it. I think it was pretty cool. Uh, I'm not sure... Well, I, wa I wasn't sure if I, was, if I could show you guys this or not because it's kind of under NDA and stuff. But I just found out that Steam had, well, let me open a new page here. <laughs> I just found out that Steam has their own, like, tutorials, like Steam Works, where they show everything, like, see, they show how to build, they show the whole thing. So, there's no problem, I can show you guys. So, no NDA breaching there, see Val, no NDA breaching, you don't need to, to no. So, yeah, let's get a new event. What event? The game is releasing now. It's now available. That's the game release, man. The game release event. That's awesome. Yeah, I may need more water because I thought last stream was hot. This stream is really hot. It is really dry. It's not usually this dry here in Brazil, but it's pretty dry today. Really dry. Uh, okay, so game release. That's the title. L let me read you guys what I wrote. That's kind of that's kind of cool. Cool thing. <laughs> it's been quite a journey, everyone, but now we have reached the end. About two months ago, 
I started developing a game from scratch in C with the extra challenge of live streaming the entire process. I have been super happy with the reception of the live streams on Twitch, the recordings on YouTube, and the project on the Hamid here net. I saw. I think I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna make these guys links. So let me make the Twitch guy a link. The recordings on YouTube. Let's make that a link as well. Um, and the project on the Hamid Network. Let's make that a link as well. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Pretty cool to be accepted there. Awesome, folks. Uh, okay. When, uh, what started out as a small game just have fun learning and teach ended up as a full release on Steam. I could not be happier with the way it turned out. <laughs> I almost read I could be happier. <laughs> but no, I really couldn't, <laughs> to be honest. To celebrate it, there, there will be cake, but another point that I shared the source code for the game is a free, pro a free download. The source code is a dual license, so, so I'm going to add the, the source code link here. We're gonna release the source code as well. Right now, it's not uh, not released. We're gonna release that in a while. And since the game was entirely created, you can watch the entire check out the first live stream. So let's show them the first live stream. This is the first. The first has gotten a lot of views, like almost six thousand views. This is a lot, man. Really cool, really cool. So it's, let's make the full width video. Uh, here's the entire playlist. Let's show you guys the entire playlist for the game. I really hope you enjoy the game and the source code, and maybe you're really happy with your own game development journey. Uh, I'll see you next time. So that was all. Let's add a couple gifts. I have reached, let's say, the end. Okay. Mm. This one's pretty cool. I don't remember which ones we used last time around. Let's make this one. Let's add this one. Okay. Then before the source code, let's make the pong one. I really like the colors of the pong one. And then I add one at the end. Yeah, well, let's add, let's add Space Invaders one. Let's preview the event. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Source code. Maybe I'm gonna have to, maybe I'm gonna add a link to like this page as well. Uh, this is just a uh, chill stream. We already did the, the whole development. So now you can just check your explanation. Yes, exactly. I've kind of a... Yeah, it's after the uh, <laughs> the image. Thanks. Okay, let's preview. Let's see. Okay, so this is it. Install game. Pretty cool. Play game. Oh, I really like the visuals for, for this new event thing. Uh, so this is it. First episode. Entire playlist. Thanks. Awesome. Uh, we need an art for, well, edit event. Yeah, we need an artwork. I already made, which is pretty much just the title thing. Let's see, it's on promotion, posts, release. The event is here. Let's upload. And I think we can, uh, success. I like success. This is it. Save. Saving event. Let's publish the event on workshop on library uh, spotlight banner on your games library page maybe maybe I can add this uh, if you provide yeah uh, oh, I can't I suppose that's okay that's okay let's publish the event publish the event there are only two buttons well there's the close button so they are actually Vav likes three so Hello, I'm new here. Welcome. Welcome, man. We have created an entire game in C from scratch on a live stream. This is the last live stream. This is the, this is the last one. This is it. I mean, we've developed the game in the past 23 live streams. Today, we are releasing the game. And we're going to play the game. We're going to play another game. Then we have all sorts of... You know, if I had... Oh, it's kind of a bummer. I wished I had the keys for the game. You know what? I'm going to send my brother an email. He has this... Uh, he has, he has the keys all set up, so I'm going to ask him for a couple of Steam keys for the game that hopefully, I'm not, I'm not going to promise, but hopefully we can give away at this live stream. Uh, let me send my brother an email, just a second.
stinkies. I'm not sure. I think he's in a meeting. So I don't know if he if he will be able to see this next. So I can't promise because I, I don't have Steam keys. It's free. <laughs> no, dude, this game's free. But I'm talking about this game. We're gonna play this game as well. Uh, yeah. Yo, oh, okay. So yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> I kind of I, I missed. Yeah, you're late. You're not late. You're right on time. I came to see the last live stream of the game. It is the last live stream for this project. But we're gonna have new projects, man. You, you can come, and the new projects gonna be way cooler, I suppose. Way cooler. Yeah, this game is free. So the game we just we just released, you just press the three buttons. It's a hundred percent free. So you can just come here on the Steam page. I'm gonna drop that on chat as well. And then you can just play the game for free. We're gonna read the source code as well for free. This is also gonna be free. The source code, You'll be able to download the source code and play around. And also gonna play this game because it's we. I added a huge discount for the game just for this stream, guys. So yeah, huge discount. Uh, I, I don't know how, how much that on dollars, man, but it's probably like four dollars, I suppose. The game's like four dollars, my other game. But I want to give you guys keys if I have if I have them at the end of the stream. So I'm gonna try to, to get some keys. And if I do, I'm gonna give away a few keys for the game. This is your, yeah, this is this was my old game that I spent three and a half years making, and I released that on 2017. So this this is like has a special place in my heart because it was like three and a half years of my life, right? But but this game is my new game. It's the game that I that I released on the that I have just released that I created entirely on live stream. And it's also on YouTube. On YouTube, you can uh, you can watch the development of this game entirely from scratch. The whole thing was live streamed. I'll try that. I'll, oh, uh, let me know what you think, man. So so we developed it entirely on live stream. That was awesome. And now we're releasing it on live stream as well because it's not complete if you don't release it, right? That's another thing that I, that I learned a little bit too late. Oh, not, not too late, but a little bit later. Was that you have to release the game. You do. Let me just see if we managed to uh, to add like the, the event properly. Well, I don't see an event here. Oh, okay. Yeah, game release. That's it. Yes. Oh, oh, he asked how, how many hours? Um, how much is the game free? Uh, yes, it was actually 78 hours, according to my, my very good friend that I made the... Uh, the edit all the hours. So yes, yeah, so it was seventy eight hours of a program of development, and we have like it's gonna be like I don't know how many hours. This maybe three hours just for fun. I don't know how, how much how much this stream is gonna last, but it was seventy eight hours of development. I don't know. Let's put like eighty one hours total, including the, like three hours of just chatting, feeling good about ourselves, release the game, all sorts of, all sorts of crazy stuff. Uh, how long is the game? I'm kind of raising too much. Oh no, the game's pretty short. The game is really short because it's it's a there are levels for the game and they're not particularly hard. This it's a fun game, man. You, you can like just sit down, play a little bit, have fun for like a couple of minutes, and then that'll be it. Uh, the development is pretty long though. The development is the eight one hours. So, but if you if you do decide to watch the whole thing and make your own games, you can go to the HIO page, and uh, you can download. Each episode source code individually, so you can uh, follow along, and uh, you know, uh, you know, make your own game as well. So yeah, you don't have to be afraid of wasting hours on this game. It's getting pretty small. Uh, okay, so another thing done on the to-do list. Let's release the game on itch.io now, and uh, I don't even remember because all I all I have to do is like set the game to release. I think it is. I just downloaded it in some seconds. <laughs> yeah, the game is like five megabytes. <laughs> well, that's the advantage, because since we did the whole thing ourselves, we only have in our executable what we actually need. And we did some pretty cool things, like we, we used compressed ODG files for the music, which made that really light. It's funny because on the HIO page, there was a point where the game was like, like 20 megabytes, when we added like a lot of audio and stuff. Music, everything was like WAV uh, wave at this point, but then we managed to implement our asset system. We got that down to four megabytes. That was awesome. See, making games is a process, not an event, and that's a very important lesson. It's like every day working on it a little bit. So yeah, let, let's do this. Let's release the game here. Uh, it's released. 
the project is complete. Complete. That that's it. That's <laughs> that was that was it. So if I if I go down here and see like the status of the game, more information released. Oh, I have two ratings. That's awesome. I just opened the game. <laughs> okay. No three. No no three green buttons. Well, we do have one green button for download now. And we have like one weird hypertext button for I don't want to give a tip. But we have like red buttons for for giving me a tip. Maybe you can guys make like me. Give me a nice no, donation. Maybe if you want to give me a nice donation of this amount. What? Where was that nice donation? You guys don't want to give me a... So if you want to donate to me, like... How much? Like... Four quadru two quadrillion dollars? Uh, then I'll appreciate that. Then, then I could add the annotations. Then I'll certainly add the annotations. And I'll pay me below a nice tip, to be honest. <laughs> uh, could I do a platform later for Linux? I Absolutely, man. If you create a platform uh, layer for Linux, uh, I'd love to see that so I can retweet and like share your, your I don't know, wh whenever you're going to post that, maybe you can do like an HIO page as well for your for your release. I can link uh, your release on my game as well. So it's a completely, I mean, the, the, the actual license is like do whatever you want. Like it's public domain and then you are granted a perpetual irrevocable license to copy, modify, publish, distribute, as you see fit, commercial use or not. So you are 100% free to create, and I would love to see that as, as an exercise. That would be pretty cool, even to add like the hardware version for this game. The rendering is kind of a, it's kind of a messy, so it will be way easier to do like a software version, but if you could do the hardware, that would be pretty cool as well. But uh, it's really easy, I mean, the, the game was structured pretty nicely in the platform layer and in the independent platform layer, and the rendering is a file of its own. So. It's gonna be uh, as easy as it can, as it, as it can to uh, to port the game. I, I I also have a plan to port the game to like SDL and stuff, but uh, since this game was I don't know it's pretty small. I think it already did its part. I mean I'm gonna do a couple more stuff in the next couple weeks, but uh, I'm not gonna spend too much time in this game. I want to do another game, and that the other game maybe I can do like a Linux part on stream. But if you live stream, I would love to watch that as well. That'd be pretty cool. Okay, so another thing done. We released the game on HIO. Now let's write a devlog, which is pretty funny because usually when you do something, when you update the page, it says like write a devlog here. But for some reason it didn't. This page. So I am going to create a devlog from like the normal devlog screen and stuff. Uh, your game is so good law, I can only make platformers. It's funny because I thought about making a platformer at that point, but uh, these games are usually like quicker to iterate on the gameplay stuff. This is amazing. Thanks, man. <laughs> awesome. Uh, I'm really glad. And it's funny because uh, if you go, if you watch my YouTube, my Twitter, I posted like the progress. So this was we already had in episode one, which is like just a square walking around. Episode two, we already had the base of the gameplay, and then we iterated that in episode three. But it was really bad at this point. There was like no effects, no feedback for the player and stuff. So we spent a lot of streams like adding like power-ups, improving the gameplay, improving the feel. So what you see as like the final particles they said that you liked and uh, the sound, the screen shake, was like a very slow process of like making the game a little bit better, a little bit better. I can't live stream because I don't have a phone for a two-factor, so I can't get the stream. Yeah, it was really bummer. I also, uh, I also, I actually didn't want to put my phone on like Twitch or something, but I had to. So yeah, it is a bummer. I can't make anything. Yes, but it's so inspirational. Dude, if you can't make anything, I would very much invite you to check out my tutorial series. Uh, 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 that just, yeah, so then we added the particle system at this point. That was pretty cool. Then like some crazy particles. Then, then we did like music. Then we did like the main menu. This is the first version of the main menu, which is pretty bad. If you watch the new one, it's pretty cool, I think. So yeah, sound effects. Yeah, this is the, the final version for the menu. Yeah, see, we added animations, so it's a pretty cool process. Uh, good game, thanks, man. Got to go. Okay, so I, I think you. Uh, thanks for thanks for coming. Uh, so I'm talking about. Uh, yeah, if you if you want to learn how to make games like this, with like no engine stuff, or just programming, if you wanna if you wanna focus on learning how to program, I really suggest that you focus on games for a bit. And I have this uh, 
how to make a game C++ tutorial series. And this series is a really step-by-step, -step, really educational process. Uh, I'm going to link that on the, on the chat. Lots of zeros in the tag files. It is true. Uh, but let me think. Uh, is that, it's not the audio, because the audio is uncompressed. And our PNGs are right, really tiny. So, yeah, I suppose it's the PNGs. I'm not entirely sure, though. But I, you know, it could have been a nice exercise to, to get through a, like a, a RLE compression. That would have been a nice stream because we could have done that in like one hour, one hour and a half to compress the pack file and decompress it. You know, that's a bummer. I wish I could have done this. If, if, if <laughs> well, whatever. <laughs> that was fun. We can do that in the next game. Compress the pack file. Just compress the zeros. <laughs> that's gonna get rid of most of the uh, things. And that'll be pretty educational as well. That's pretty cool. So I invite you to check out this uh, series where I, uh, this is pretty cool, man. It's a lot of work to edit because I have like a lot of like uh, diagrams and drawings and stuff. And then I show like the step-by-step -step, uh, process to like, how we're gonna do this. And then uh, we already have a nice game at this point. It's pretty much done. We have like, uh, this, this game is oh, fun, right? Zero, but about the other, other ones? So yeah, we added like a, an AI yeah, it looks better. and a score system last stream. That was pretty cool. So if you want to learn how to get to this point, this tutorial is really going to help you. Really going to help you. It's pretty much for beginners. If you know a little bit of programming, it's going to be, it's going to be good for you. Uh, but if you don't, I think you still can follow along. I want to do like a more, uh, like a super beginner friendly, but this one's pretty beginner friendly as well, I think. And hopefully next tutorial, when I finish this one, it's going to be a couple of weeks from now. Then I can do like a more complex one using like, OpenGL and stuff, people really want to go have, I have now subbed it to their YouTube channel. Awesome, man, thanks. I really hope you like what I have there. I have some awesome plans for the future. And I really think I'm already improving a lot. Pong AI, pedal equals ball Y. You know, I should have done this. I did a similar uh, first version of the AI, <laughs> which is uh, similarly impossible to beat. But uh, <laughs> I should have done that. That was pretty funny. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so let's write the devlog. That was going to be the same thing as we did and this guy, which is like game release. Uh, it would be cool for an OpenGL stream. Yes, I will do an OpenGL stream next stream. Uh, I think I'm gonna do like a shmup game. Do you guys, do you guys have any game in mind? And I was thinking about doing a, a shoot 'em up. Pretty simple one, but you like you have your ship and then you move around and you kill like enemy ships and stuff. Maybe you have like power ups. So then you can do like particle systems. And you can do cool bitmaps. I think that would be a cool cool live stream. Then we can make that game from scratch. I think I'm, gonna, I'm not going to make 100% from scratch. I'm going to use SDL for that game because people also like to see that. So SDL and OpenGL for that game, I think. So I think about a shmup. If anyone has a, a better idea, uh, let me know. Okay, so this is a major update or a launch. So the files. I'm going to add the, the, the last files and also going to add a video, which is the game trailer, the release trailer I did. Which is pretty old, to be honest, at this point. I mean, it's not old in the sense that that uh, has old versions of the game. But yeah, it was like three weeks ago I made the, the release video. <laughs> okay. Because oh, that was for the for the, the Steam page. And I and I can't like add the Steam page and then immediately release the game. I need to, to be a couple weeks for people to add to like wishlist and stuff. As long as it shows what you can do in OpenGL, then I can't really complain. Okay, so I'm going to do uh, the OpenGL... SDL. I'm not a big fan of the SDL though, but uh, people people really people like it, so I am going to do an SDL. It's not going to be that different from a Win32 uh, platform layer. Maybe I can do like a port to the Win32 later on, or maybe I could do the Win32 version first and then a port to SDL. How about GLFW? I don't know. I think people like SDL more. What do you think? I think SDL because it's made by Valve and there were huge, huge games. Huge successful games uh, that released with SDL. I think it's more uh, famous. What about K uh, KHA? I have never heard about, about this, man. Uh, con, uh, well, con, OpenGL. Is that it? Yeah. Ultra portable, high performance OpenGL library. I think SDL, but supercharged. Based on the ha uh, hex programming language. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Support platforms. Dude, that's awesome. Even more than SDL. 
Unity 3D, what does that mean? Uh, tech, okay. I've seen Cherno use it for his OpenGL tutorial. Uh, is that a GL? Uh, because I think we may have to do like an we have to do like an bindings library. Uh, yeah, so I think we're gonna have to use like something like Glue 3D or something like that for the bindings because SDL kind of needs them. Hey, experience by Oh, okay, I know what you mean. Yeah, I have a friend who really likes. Hacks. I'm not sure how to pronounce that in, Port in, uh, in English. In Portuguese, we say hacks, but in Portuguese, it's not that. It's probably hacks, something like that. Uh, but yeah, but the point is not how it's not uh, how to use like a I don't know a fun library, so to speak. Hacks. Oh, hacks! I feel so stupid now. <laughs> of course, it's hacks. Yeah, hacks pretty cool though. It sounds great. Uh, engines featuring car, uh, that's awesome. So yeah, uh, I think uh, when we actually do like a more complex and robust game, it's not gonna be the next game. Next game, game's gonna be also a simple game, but it's gonna be more complex than this game. It's gonna be like open general stuff. I think we can do SDL because I don't know, a lot of people already know that and search about that. So I think that's gonna be more general, but the focus is gonna be open GL anyway. It's not the how, how to open a window and stuff. Uh, the answer should be easy to, uh, can I make a game for blind people? Well, probably. Uh, hey, I'm back. Remember me? I do remember you. Welcome back. Yeah, I, I, uh, I'm not very good at remembering people, but I remember you. You must have made quite an impression, to be honest. So yeah, that's why I'm not going to use like not as used pla uh, platform and stuff. But uh, GLFW I could use, I think. But I think I'm going to stick with SDL. And yeah, make the shmup. That that will be cool. That will be a cool game. Uh, okay, so let's just finish the devlog for each I.O. It's, it's the same thing. I'm not, I'm not gonna read that again. So this is it. This is it. Added the video. So the video is gonna be here. I'm gonna have the links as well, just so people can click on stuff, and then we can play the game. I'm kind of excited now because it's been a while. Recordings on YouTube. Let's link people to the recordings on YouTube. I think this, this link is good enough. And then let's do the project on the handmade network. Okay. Okay, and then let's check out the first live stream. Let's show them the first one. Which one's the first one? Uh, that's the first one. So, YouTube video. And then the entire playlist. The entire playlist. Okay. Okay, that's it. So that's a major update. You know, let me copy this whole thing because I am going to post that on the community as well. I can only make HIO or Game Jolt games because of the thing I used to make games. What do you use to make games? There's a space missing between the and the recordings. Oh. Yes, you are correct. You are correct. And the project as well. Let's fix this before anyone thinks that uh, we don't care about our game. <laughs> okay. I don't think anyone got to see that except you. I use construct and you need to pay to export uh, an executable. Oh, okay, yeah. I see, so you want to export as a web project, HTML5 and stuff. Yeah, that's a bummer. I really, I'm not a big fan of this model of uh, charging uh, like per platform. Like, uh, yeah, like a uh, game maker. I think, I don't know, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not as familiar with like, with like engine uh, business models and stuff, but if you could make like a, yeah, I don't know. Uh, you can check out Godot. Good Godot is a is a pretty cool engine and it's pretty similar, and uh, you can it's 100% free. It's open source, 
So let's post on the release announcements. Announce a new uh, is that it? Yes. Release announcement. Not a lot of people uh, see, but if I think if I create a new topic. I'll link to a quick summary, at least one embedded video image, okay. Let's do like uh, game uh, open source game written entirely on a live stream. I think that's, that, that's enough to get people attention. And then I can embed the video. Oh, the video was embedded. Okay, that's bad. That's Got the trailer here. Okay, let's embed the first live stream here. Uh, I don't know how to code yet. These events they look like uh, Click Team Fusion. It's a no code thing. Yeah, uh, I used Unreal for uh, my major game, and I used Blueprints, mm -hmm. so that was pretty much no code until the very end, where I had to learn how to code to like fix the problems, and that was really that was really crazy. You, you have missing spaces. That's weird, man. I just copied from the from the new version, I think. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> so we have videos, just like it said. We have we have to have the link on each IO. So break rkgamesout.h.io. So can I add here? Add here as well. So we have the link, a quick summary, the embedded. Well, I don't have the, the quick summary to be honest, so I think I'm going to copy the, the quick summary. Yeah, the thing is, I use the no code uh, thing for most of the development for Eos's Hunt, which is the other game that I, that I created. But uh, it gets to a point where you need a code. And if you're not ready for that, if you haven't planned, it's going to be really hard. So I really rec recommend that you at least try, I don't know, to uh, try to learn a little bit. And uh, like I said, I think you were, you were not here when I, when I linked, but in my YouTube channel, I have a pretty awesome introduction to game programming C++ series. I'm going to link that again on the chat. But it's like youtube.com slash Dan. If you type that, you can see my uh, YouTube channel and stuff. And this tutorial series is going to give a step-by-step -step approach how to make a game with no engines. The thing about making a game, I'm going to make a video out of that as well, but one of the great things about making a game with no engines is that uh, you learn a lot. And even if you get to use an engine, you're going to, you're going to be so much better at expressing your game's needs, and you're going to be really more robust and more confident. So I really suggest that you learn even a little bit of programming, game, making game. I mean, it's going to be really short. This series, which is the series that I link you to, the Making Games, like, I don't know, let's see how much time. It's like 7 plus 12 plus 22 plus 12 plus 16 plus 10. Let's say there's like a couple more episodes, 10, 10 minutes each. Let's say it's like 20 minutes. I'm not going to be that long. Yeah, it's not going to be, be like, let's say another 10 minutes. So if you watch like one and a half hours of these tutorials, you're going to have a, a, pretty, a pretty nice understanding of how to make your own games. Do you use GCC? No, I use MSVC, uh, Microsoft Visual Compiler. But uh, for all I care, I could have used GCC. I really don't like Visual Studio, but it's what I use. It's what people use on Windows mostly. Learn to code helps you understand what the engine is doing. Exactly, man. And uh, it's also more fun, to be honest. And it gives you more confidence to build robust games. And the thing about the other game, this game, the game that I released a couple of years ago, my big game, uh, when I released, I wasn't very confident on it at all. Not in terms of game design, that's another problem, but in terms of programming. The game could break for I care, uh, not for I care, but I knew, right? And in fact, there was a pretty big bug in the last uh, boss that uh, one of the earlier, uh, one of the earlier reviewers uh, happened to find. And that was pretty bad because they couldn't figure out that even later on. So that was a bummer. Knowing how to program for real and making a game with no engine uh, is a really a nice way to, to learn how to do this. It's gonna make you more confident to build your own game. So I really recommend that you learn. And this thing, I think, is one of the best ways to start. Uh, I want to do a couple more series on that as well. But this one's pretty basic and a pretty solid as well. I have a lot of, like, I have a lot of like uh, theory parts. So I explain like what I'm doing in the in the blackboard. And then, uh, well, I can't find a place like, that. like this. Then I explain. Oh, how how, how are we gonna print stuff? And then later on. I do like the actual code and stuff. Do you know Black Thorn Pro? I do know, I mean, I don't know him personally, 
but I know his game. I know his uh, YouTube channel. It's awesome, man. I mean, he's been doing a great work. His videos are really cool. His art style is really cool as well. He's awesome. I may have to get some more water. I think this is all good to go. Uh, yes, open source gaming written entirely on live stream. I think I like this title. So we have a short description, we have the trailer, have the link to the page, have a, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so it's a free game. Uh, and I agree to the rules above. Okay, okay, so I just posted that on the HIO community page. Hopefully, hopefully people are gonna, are gonna notice that. Uh, I had a lot of views from when I posted that on my other game. So devlog done, community done. So let's do this the same thing here, which is the last place we need to do. When Jay comes out, we make a game uh, with it to get a feel for the language. Dude, when JI comes out, I'm gonna do so much stuff with it that uh, I don't know, man. I have so much crazy plans to do, crazy meta programming plans. So the way the way I'm thinking, unless John surprises me <laughs> and release that earlier. I think, I think I, as a mere mortal who doesn't know him personally, I think I'm gonna make. Uh, I think I'm gonna get the language like the end of next year because I suppose it's gonna start open beta the end of this year. So maybe the end of next year I'm gonna do the. Uh, I'm gonna do the, uh, the beta stuff. He's gonna do the open beta, and then I can get access to that. So I think I'm gonna have to a lot. I'm gonna have to do. I think I'm gonna have a lot of games done at that point, right? Good games. So uh, I'm not sure how much I wanna rewrite what I've written because I have a plan to make a, a bigger game sometime in the beginning of next year. I think I'm gonna start at the beginning of next year to make a bigger game and stuff to release on Steam as well. I don't know, just for fun, but a little bit bigger one nonetheless. So I'm not sure if I wanna wait for Jay. I'm not gonna wait because I, I, I was waiting for some time, but I can't wait, but I'm really excited anyways. So yeah, I'm gonna make lots of games. I wanna make tutorials on J as well. So I'm gonna do like learn how to program from scratch. I mean, you haven't written a single line of code in JAI. I wanna do this series when the, when, the, when the language releases. I think that's gonna be really awesome to help people also get a feel for the language because I think it's gonna be a great language to learn how to program. I think it's gonna be pretty simple like C, but powerful like C++ in terms of like, yeah, I really like C more than C++, but I'm not sure. I, I, I think I'm gonna love the language because it's gonna be really well designed because it was made by a great designer but uh anyways yeah you can talk about ji for a long time do you plan making a game jam i have just made a game jam if you go to my hio page uh that's to my uh, to here this game liar's map was made to the in the community game jam which was black uh, uh black prod thorns black uh -huh, black thorn prods uh game jam so i made this uh game for the community game jam and actually i got a, a nice rating on the I think it was design or something. I don't remember. Submission. Yeah, let's see the submission. Yeah, it was I got a, a 25 in innovation. That was like over a thousand games. So that was, that was awesome. People really liked the innovation and the game design. People hated the graphics. But it looks pretty bad, to be honest. <laughs> I was the community game jam. I, I have was named just a simple and normal game. Oh I, I'm gonna check out your game later on. Just Oh, I think I have just a normal game. Is that your is that your game? This ain't a, just a simple normal game. Yeah, yeah, that's our game. I may I may even play it. To be honest, I don't remember. I'm gonna I'm gonna play that later on. Awesome. Uh, so yeah, I have made a game jam. So I, I don't wanna I think I don't wanna do like game jams for a while now. Maybe next year because uh, it's really it's really hard, but it's really fun as well. So it's nice to do them sometimes. So let's just do the same thing on the HI on the handmade network, and that's going to be the last, the last place we post this blog post. So start new, a new blog post. It's going to be the same thing. Game release. It's been quite a journey. Let's add the YouTube trailer video. Uh, Okay, let's do this. This is the trailer. Let's add the trailer here. YouTube. Okay. Then let's add the links. Where's link? Is this link? No. 
well yeah URL okay so URL equals let's get the twitch URL there you go let's get my YouTube channel URL playlists um, yeah there you go so recordings on YouTube and a project on a network check out watch the entire playlist let's make that a URL as well and uh, the first live stream I'm this thing's a lot of work uh, this, this is my two keep repeating things like that each one has a little bit of a different format and stuff so that's it and the final one let's just make the project on the handmade network a link as well but uh yeah got it done to you know spread the word okay um kind of lost where am i okay okay let me see how that will look okay i have to i have to link this team page as well i kind of forgot about that and important so this is the steam page for the game oh I, i'm also going to post the steam page for the uh the dlc the free dlc let me see how that will look yeah that, that'll be a link as well so there is like the embedded thing but i think the link will suffice uh, okay Okay, I think that's it in terms of blog posts. That took a while. Okay, so posted, blog post, finished. Now let's just tweet about that. Let's just tweet. We're gonna unpin this tweet. And then let's tweet. I think I'm gonna tweet just like this thing. I already did like the text. Like, what if Breakout was the only arcade game people could make? An open source game with entirely on live stream. Then the Breakout game, Games Out store, and then a ton of hashtags. We gotta go again. Bring cake, man. We're gonna have cake at the end of the stream. In the end, there will be cake, and the cake's not a lie. So bring cake so we can uh, celebrate together the launch. I, 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 w I wasn't sure when I first released how many live streams there will be. But uh, I think it was a great number, like 23 and stuff. 24 now. 24 is a great number for a series, I think. Because once you got like to 50 or 100, people are not going to watch the whole thing. And uh, this game was supposed to be simply another people could watch from the beginning and the end and play the game. So I think mission accomplished in this sense. So Twitter done. Let's release the source code. So we're going to have a lot more buttons for us now. Probably three or, or more. I think there'll be more, to be honest. Uh, well, let's go back. Let's keep going back. Well, maybe I can do Yeah, there you go. So let's release the, the DLC. Oh, I almost sneezed. Let me look at the sky. Maybe I can sneeze. Okay, I'm not going to sneeze. So let's... Okay, so let's count how many buttons we're going to press. Because we pressed three buttons to release the other end. Let's see how much. One. Two. Oh, I think there's going to be just four buttons. You know what? I'm going to get some water. Like one minute break to the release. I'm gonna release the DLC now. And we can publish the DLC. And then we can play the game, celebrate, then have cake, then play more games. Oh, let me see if you guys have a, a key. Oh, uh, let's see. It's my, oh, my brother got some keys. My brother got some keys for you guys. I'm gonna, I'm gonna turn off my screen. Just so I just so I know how many keys he sent. Just so I can prepare the keys. Because I'm gonna send you guys a lot of keys. Okay? Yeah, so a lot of keys are here. A lot of keys. Man, I have like infinite keys for the games. I have literally infinite keys. <laughs> so <laughs> I'm gonna drop a couple keys right now on the stream, I think. Do you guys wanna Oh, the key, well, the game is free. The game I just released is free. <laughs> yeah, let me just go back to my uh, screen. 
Uh, well, now I don't know which is the screen, so I maybe, let's see. Let me see. Okay, there you go. So, I'm not going to have a one minute break. I'm going to release a couple keys for you guys. Uh, so, the keys for this game, which right now is on sale, but, uh, but I'm going to give you guys some keys. This game, I am ready. <laughs> yeah, you got, it better be ready. I'm going to count down like to, to three or something and then throw like two keys or three keys or whatever. There are 10 people watching. Maybe I'm going to give like two keys and then when I go back, I'm going to get some water and then I go back and I'm going to give two more keys. Uh, and then I, I'm going to keep giving keys, man. Uh, no, not, not a lot of people bought the game. So we might as well give away, right? <laughs> and uh, you guys are here in the stream, so we might as well have some fun, right? So uh, 21, uh, yeah. This is the game I'm going to give away. Was the first game I released on Steam was like two and a half years ago. It was awesome. Like three, two years ago. Three and a half years to make the game. And then I'm releasing this game, right? I have a few more green buttons to press. To press to release the source code. But uh, yeah, I'm going to give away a couple. Are you guys ready? ADM already said that he's ready. Is anyone else ready? If only he's ready, I'm just going to send one key, right? Because if only one person is ready, I don't know. Okay, I'm going to count to three. Then I'm going to send like two keys. Okay, yeah. Let's see. Okay, so more people are ready. So one, two, three. Yeah, the formatting kind of broke, but there are two keys there. Let me know if uh, if either ADM or Noah as S1 got the keys because they they were ready, bruh. What? Nope, you didn't get the key. Did ADM that get the key? They're only like, nope. I'm gonna send two more then. But you guys, you guys have to be fast, man. You guys have to be fast. Only twelve people on stream. So, I'm going to send the key again. Okay. Like, one, two. Two more keys for you guys. Are these keys activated? I think they're not. <laughs> I hope they're not. Nope. Nope, again. I'm going to send I'm gonna send each of you guys a private key. How, how do I send a private message? It's like, slash n. No SS1. How do I... How do I send like a private message? You guys know how to send a private message? Okay, whisper. Yeah, I found. So I'm sending a private key to Noah. And we're gonna send a private key to ADM as well. And let me know if, if the keys work. If the keys work, uh, you guys are too slow. No problem, man. <laughs> so let me know if the keys work. Okay. They work. Okay, so you guys were too slow. Come on, man. So, so but that, that was great. A couple of people got that, the keys. Four people got the keys, and you two people got the keys as well. So that was fun. I'm gonna give more keys later on. I have a million keys to give away. Okay. <laughs> so I'm gonna give more keys away for my other game. But this game is free. The game we're releasing right now. And the source code is free, so you guys can download that. I was fast. I don't have a key. I'm gonna send more keys, man. I'm gonna send more keys for the game. Uh, but not enough. Well, yeah, it wasn't fast enough. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get some water because I'm really thirsty because it's really hot here. Really hot. Uh, then I'm gonna get... Uh, let me just see what key I sent you, ADM, because that was the last one I sent. Uh, D6, yeah. So I'm gonna go some water. I'm gonna send more keys to you guys. I'm going to keep sending keys uh, throughout this stream. But you can download this new game that I just published. This game is free. So you can download that. And you and this game, uh, it's really pretty cheap. It's like $4. So if you don't get a key, you can download that as well. I'm thinking maybe, was that a bot? Is that a bot that gets keys out of Twitch? Does that thing exist? <laughs> I, I don't know, but I don't know. I'm going to get some water, then a couple more keys. Maybe. Yeah, hopefully not. That would be a huge bummer. When I gave away keys before, uh, people, yeah, people didn't actually manage to get it. So, I'm going to send a couple more keys and then people are going to say whoever, whoever got the key. If not, 
I can maybe show the key on stream. And I think I'm going to do that. Okay, so I'm going to show the key. It's only fine. Yeah, this game is really small, man. It was entirely made on a live stream. So it was spent like 78 hours and stuff. And that was it. And then the game was done. Five megabytes. This game is huge, though. It's like a gigabyte or something. One point, let's see, one point something. Yeah, two gigabytes, this game. It's pretty big. So I think we're going to do this. It's going to be more fun. I'm going to show the keys on my screen. And you guys have to type the keys on your screen instead of copying. Then that'll be more fun. But then we got some water. So, and then we're going to release the DLC for free. So one minute break to release the free DLC. It starts instantly. It does, man. It does. That's awesome. No engines. We did everything ourselves, man. Oh, the only thing that I sent you, the five megabytes, is the actual game content. No Unity pop-up stuff. It's really direct. So let's get some water. Be back in one minute. Okay, so I am going to show two keys for the game. Okay, two keys on my screen. So you better be ready because you're going to have to type the key. And that's going to be more fun, I think. Okay, so I have them set up here. I'm going to count to three. Then I'm going to play. I'm going to put like a notepad with my, on my screen with two keys. So you guys better be fast. The keys are for this game, which is my other game, the game I released in 2017. It's on discount, so if you don't get a key, you can buy that for like $4. That's pretty cheap. I I'm not even sure how much is that. It may be even be cheaper than $4. Let me just check out here. Because I keep saying $4, it may be even cheaper because I don't know how much is that. Let's see the price of the game. Yeah, it's $4. It's $3.99. So you can, download, you can buy that game for $3.99. Or downloaded the game releasing today for free. So, okay, so I'm gonna count to three, then there'll be two more keys on stream. I think I may even uh, change the title like, and Steam Keys Giveaway. I'm gonna add that to the title. Maybe people are gonna be interested on that. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna count to three. Are you guys ready? So, uh, or Org Hunt. GRL stuff said that he didn't get a key. So maybe now, now it's your time. If you gotta be fast type, okay? Three, two, one, these are the keys. Okay, if any of you that are here are like typing on, on the the live stream and stuff, manage to get the keys, let me know. I'd love to know because I gave two keys for like specific people to test the keys. If the keys were working, they they are. And there were people more engaged on the stream. So if you guys, if you guys engage more on the stream, I'm gonna give more keys away. That's that's the thing. More people, more keys. Okay, I think that's enough for these keys. Now I'm gonna throw them on on, uh, on the chat in case uh, just to be permanent. In case if didn't, if anyone didn't uh, manage to get it. Okay, so that's enough keys for now. Now let's release the other game. The DLC game, okay? So the DLC is the source code, which is uh, for free as well. Is this the DLC? No, no. The uh, the key is for the this game. It's a full game. Uh, it's it's four dollars on the promotion. It's the game I released a couple of years ago. It's pretty cool, man. It's like a shooter game with like platform. It's three D. You just done a real engine. It's pretty cool. A lot of work. Three and a half years of work on this game to release it. So that's the that's the game I'm giving away for free. But the game I'm releasing now, this the game. It's a free game that I'm releasing, so you can download the game for free. I'm releasing, and it has a free DLC, which is the source code. And uh, that's what I'm gonna release now. It's a free DLC. Yeah, uh, it's the source code. So so let's let's do. Oh, so so we got one green button, two green buttons, 
I think we're gonna get this button and the other button, right? Like the other ones. I think we're gonna get we're gonna get those to publish the game. Yeah. So this is the infinite wait. So I suppose so I suppose it's only three games, uh, th three buttons. Yeah, it's gonna be funny. It's gonna be a nice. Uh, I think I'm gonna clip this video <laughs> to be to be like like a tutorial. How to be really excited about the game release and have to wait like one minute. Okay, so that's it. Only three buttons. Yeah, so I suppose Valve does know and like the number three. So I suppose you guys are wrong with the game. So that's it. This game is released. I'm gonna press, uh, press F5 here. Released. Not in sync, what does that mean? Well, I suppose it's okay because since the source code, it works on pretty much any operating. Three button release, it is. It's a three button release. We have got two, but well, I, I don't know. On the, on each IO, I, I did have to press like, one, two, and three. So I suppose people like three button releases. I suppose I suppose it's better. I don't know, I like one button release better, I suppose. So apparently this game will be ready. It is. Now you can download for a free source code. And if you, you can if you type like source code, I'm one of the first ones. Yeah, I'm here. If you go to like to like the free games, free to play games and stuff, I should be here as well on the new releases. New and trendy? Well, not sure I'll be trending though. <laughs> and not top seller either. Upcoming? I'm not upcoming anymore. Yeah, so I I, I, I got out of that. Release. Okay, I am on the all new releases. Here I am. Uh, in, this, in the source code as well. Oh, this is the source code? Did the game already? Oh, okay, so no, this is the game, this is the source code. Okay, perfect. Uh, we're good to go. Now I'm gonna post a couple of uh, more stuff. Now release the source code. Now let's release the event for the source code. I don't think I'm gonna add the event though. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna add the event for the source code. Okay, like canceled. Canceled. Yeah, I am going to add the sync community stuff. Because people ask, oh, how do I unlock the, the frame rate and stuff? I'm going to add all that to the community hub and the discussions, I mean. Yeah, so I'm going to add a new discussion and it'll be, let's see, how to download the source code. How to download the source code. This game was written entirely on a live stream and has the open source code in the public domain to download the source code first download the free DLC here okay so first free DLC here then the source then after installing well then the source code will be available on the game folder inside the steam install directory i do have like a, yeah like this Is it really expensive to release a game on Steam? Not really expensive. It's not cheap though. It's uh, it's a hundred bucks, a hundred dollars. For a hundred dollars, you can download, you can uh, release the game and whatever DLCs you want for the game. A hundred dollars, and it's not like super cheap, but it's not like really expensive either. Uh, and I wanted to release that game on Steam because it's a huge victory. I mean, we, we wrote the entire thing on a live stream, right? It's awesome to be on Steam for that reason. Uh, on that directory, they wanted to do more. They wanted to be more expensive, though. I think they wanted to do to be like five hundred dollars. And if they actually did uh, five hundred dollars uh, necessary to to release the game, I probably wouldn't have released this game because five hundred dollars that would be prohibitively prohibitively expensive to me. Yeah. How long did it take to make the game? Uh, 70, 78 hours. It's everything, everything is on uh, YouTube. So let me throw that link here. 
I, oh, I'll, let me let me get the link to the uh, playlist. Yeah. So everything is on YouTube. It's 70, 78 hours of development, and we're like two hours in in the release stream. So it's going to be like eighty one hours total, counting the release stream, which is fun, right? Uh, so yeah, it took. In terms of like raw time, not counting, uh, it took like two months because I, this is my this is just a hobby. I do this in my free time, so I can't do this every day. So, so it took like two months. But in terms of like actual development, 72, 78 hours, and everything is on stream. So you can watch the from the very beginning, all the way to the three green buttons we pressed. Today. It was awesome, man, awesome. Actually, it was six because we released both the game and the DLC. So it was six buttons we pressed. So yeah, let me just on that directory you. We'll find a uh, source code dot. Let me just see what I call the game. What I call this. Uh, oops. We we'll find a source code dot txt file with more instructions. I hope you like it. I can post the license as well because the license is really cool. I mean, I don't know if people actually read the license, but just to be able to say that the license is do whatever you do whatever you want, I think it's pretty cool. I really want a permissive license because having to, you know to worry about oh, can I strip this code? Can I get parts of it and stuff? It's really important. So open open domain, uh, public domain, everyone, public domain. So yeah, how to download the source code for free. Okay, so posted uh, discussions. I think I'm gonna pin that. I'm not even sure how do I pin that. Uh, it looks pretty cool, I think. Uh, yeah, I don't know how do I pin the discussion. But it's already on top. So it's in moderators tool. Uh, Moderator tools, pin thread. Okay, thanks. Yeah, it's kind of invisible. Fail to modify the topic. Please try again later. Topic has been pinned, so it's probably important. Okay, so I did manage to pin the game. Don't don't get me wrong. It's an awesome that you actually release it on Steam, but paying hundred bucks to release a free to, free to play game, not getting anything back, kind of feels like a waste of hundred bucks. Well, kind of depends, right? On how, how you look at it. I obviously don't think it's a waste of money because I did. But uh, here's the thing you only learn as long as you do the thing. And uh, the more you do, the more you learn. That's for everything in life, man. Everything. So if you want to learn how to make games, you have to make a lot of games. If you want to learn how to release a game, which is different from making a game, you have to release a lot of games. And I had only released one game on Steam, uh, on Steam so far, which is this game. It was two, two years ago. And uh, I was really stressed out, I was really nervous, I, want, I needed money back, so it was a very stressed out experience. I wanted to have an experience again, to get better at releasing games, so to be like, how do I make a Steam page? And uh, how do I convert the people, or how do I know the tools? So consider that 100 bucks, kind of a, like a learning uh, exercise. So it's so like paying 100 bucks for a course, right? But instead of being a course, just like a random dude hosted a course, it's a course on actual uh, the market, right? The, the actual distribution channel, which is uh, Steam. Besides, the game is uh, was already on Itch.io here, and people already donated for the game. So uh, you can download, you can uh, pay what you want on Itch.io. And uh, I did receive a a, a a little bit of money on Itch.io. So you didn't actually pay for the hundred bucks. But it did help. So almost the game paid itself to release on Steam. So that, that, that's awesome. But I don't know, man. Paying like 20, 20 bucks for a course is well worth it. Paying 100 bucks for actual experience of release is really valuable, I think. I think it's worth it. Because it's not, about, it's not always about making the money back. It's about learning, right? Because when I release my third game, and third time's the charm. Is it not ADM? Third time's the charm. So when I release the third game, hopefully it'll be a big commercial game again, but it's going to be to the it's going to be simpler than this game because this game was huge like three and a half years is too much at this point in my life. But if I do, do release a bigger commercial game, I'll be in a way better position. 
I think. I am, uh, yeah, I am learning a lot, so it's way worth it. Uh, that, that's a great way to think about it, really cool. Yeah, it's all about perception, I, I think, you know. Uh, and even though you can multiply that by four because of the place I live in Brazil, in terms of like cost of living and stuff. So I, I pretty much paid 400 bucks, but it was $100, but 400 reais, which is a, it's not too little, but it's not like impossible, right? I think it's, I think it's worth it to do these things to learn, okay? Okay, uh, so did we, did we finish what we wanted to do? I don't even remember. Well, okay, we were, okay, no, we were typing, yeah, we pinned this, this topic. Now I'm going to make the same topic, but on the DLC, because people might have some trouble and then they might go to the discussion to see. Oh, they don't have a discussion on the DLC. Okay, so only the, the main game has that discussion. I didn't know that. Okay, so, man, I can smell the cake. I said that in the end, there will be cake. The cake might as well be a lie, but I can smell it, right? Because it's a huge celebration, right? It's awesome, awesome. Okay, so I'm gonna post the, the other question that uh, actually someone even asked here on the chat, like how to unlock the frame rate. Disable VSync. To unlock the frame rate, disable VSync, all you have to do is open. And because I'm a poor student, yeah, well, I'm not a rich, I'm not rich <laughs> yet, I suppose, but uh, yeah, it's a process, it's a process, like. You didn't mark the pro oh, but I, I don't think I marked the process. Uh, ADM said I, I, the process, the project is not complete on him here, but I don't think I mark as a complete, do I? I think they, oh, I think they do. I'm not sure. Uh, game release, it's here, settings. Let's see, life cycle. Okay, no, active, hiatus, maintenance. Yeah, this is it. This part of that has uh, reached the state of completion. And you'd like to apply for maintenance mode status. That's it. That was easy enough. But I'm going to post a couple more stuff there as well. Like, I'm going to do a source code walkthrough and stuff. But uh, thanks, nice call. Do you have a project there? You seem to, you seem to know a lot. You seem to know a lot. You're, you're, you're suspicious. I, you're a very suspicious person. <laughs> you seem to know a lot, but you're not fast enough to get the keys. And so that, that's a, a huge con contradiction there. So I'm not sure what to think about it, right? <laughs> uh, do you have a game on Steam? You knew the, the, the mod the tool on Steam. Let, let, let me see your game, man. Uh, I'd love to see your game. Okay, so to unlock frame rate disabled, this thing all I have to do is open the, the config file located uh, config file and change the that the value there. Well, that was a waste of like uh, the config file is in a game directory like here. So let's see the config file. Game config. Well, you did say later, uh, previously, that uh, you thought I was a lot more productive, like two months than you were in one year. So that's a, a clue, right, as to your projects. Hmm. So I'm not entirely sure. Uh, change the lock FPS value to false. Uh, let me see, how do I do, like, code formatting? Code. Code's just code. So, code. Code. Equals false. Okay. I think that was easy enough. Okay, so I typoed false. That was a bum. False. To unlock the frame rate, all I have to do is open the config file and change the value there. In the game directory, change, lock it, that's that to false. Looks easy enough. 
uh, the config.txt. I think we're going to make that uh, more explicit. Okay, save changes. I'm going to do the same thing with the uh, mouse sensitivity in the windowed mode. But I'm going to pin this guy as well. Okay. Then let's add a few more. I think I'm going to change this how to download to be just like download. Download the source code for free. How to, to unlock the FPS and how to uh, how to change the well how to change the mouse sensitivity to change the mouse sensitivity all you have to do is up the config file and change the value there uh, okay so let's say Gonna be like I don't know 0 0.5 or or whatever you want. Okay, thin thread. Okay, that is good enough. Let's do the final one, which is window. How to start the game window? How to start? The game window mode. Window mode. Well, we copy here how to to start the game in window non not full screen mode. All you have to do is to blah, 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 okay change the change well I think I, I change the windowed value to false or to true so windowed equals code code okay okay so this is the window mode window to true it's correct is it not it is correct, and uh, I'm gonna pin that as well. I'm gonna I also have a typo on the other one. I'll change the mouse sensitivity. Uh, edit mouse sensitivity. Okay, so I think everything I had to do to release the game is done. To release and promote the game, so to speak. Uh, I already sent the, uh, the game to a number of uh, curators, but uh, since this is a very simple game, I don't think anyone's gonna play it, to be honest. But uh, it was great to know the tool. That's the thing. I paid to learn, right? So I think now, now we can officially celebrate. I think now we're gonna, because the game is here on Steam, it's released, right? I can go to the store page, people can download the game, play the game for free, hopefully enjoy, and uh, oh, so I did have curator reviews. Oh my god, do you think people said good things about the game or bad things about the game? Now nah, I'm a little bit nervous, because it's a very simple game, very short as well. I don't know what to expect. Let's find out. This, well, there's no way not to be nervous, because on my other game, I was like super, super nervous because I had to get the game. This game, I, I don't really care, but I'm still nervous, because I want to I wanna make a good, a good product. A good product, right? I want it to be good anyway, so... Let's see, let's see. Uh, it's not five. I think three of them, like Steam auto automatic stuff. So maybe I have like one or two reviews. Let's see. See, this is Steam stuff. This is Steam. This is Steam. This is Steam. What? All? One, two, three, four? There's one missing. Oh, this like English stuff. That, that that's Steam stuff. That's automatic stuff. Steam. Not recommended. Well, no one not recommended, which is good, I suppose. Informational. Dark Raiders. Nothing to worry about. Yeah. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, it did say five. Maybe it's still loading or something. One, two, three, four. Hmm. Well, so I am gonna have to wait a little bit longer. <laughs> this is kind of, this is kind of a. This is hard. No matter how you, how, even if it's just a small game for fun, you still want people to like the game, right? And uh, enjoy it and think that you build a good thing. You want to build a good thing, right? Even though it's a small game. Yeah. Okay, now let's play the game. Because I, I have not played the game today, still. And uh, just before I play the game, I'm going to give one more, one more, uh, one more Steam key for people. So, uh, but the Steam, Steam I'm going to give is for this other game that I created. This game is not a free game, but it's a very cheap game. It's right now it's for four dollars with discount, so you can download the game for four dollars. But uh, if you are watching the stream right now, maybe you'll be able to get a Steam key for the game, right? I am going to, I'm going to show the key on my screen. So you're gonna have to type that on uh, on your screen really fast. And uh, in case people don't know how to do that, just go here on like games, like activate a product on Steam. I have to click next. I agree. So you're gonna to have to type the game, the key that I'm gonna show. Okay, I'm gonna show on stream. We have to type that really fast here. So the fastest typer is gonna win. We give more keys away, but uh, yeah, hopefully you're gonna like this game. This game is pretty cool. This game I, I worked my heart out to make this game. I added so much like small details, things that I really wanted. This was like the absolute, uh, you no know, top of like what I could do and I, what I was capable of like doing in terms of like motivation of my gut. Everything I put in this game. So I'm gonna give you a free key for this game right now. Uh, if you if you want to play the game, you can buy for like four dollars. But uh, okay, are you guys ready? I'm gonna show the key on stream in like three. Two the low latency man wins. Well, I suppose it's correct. Is the people in Brazil have lower latency, or is the server on Twitch like whatever, like in the US or something or something? So maybe maybe you guys can refresh the page to get a lower latency. Who knows? So I'm gonna give you like. Five seconds to refresh the page. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, refresh the page. I'm gonna show the key. Show the key. Three, two, one. This is the key for this game. Iliosis Hunt. Pretty cheap. The game I wrote for three and a half years. If anyone wants to uh, play the game for free, you can just type the key. The first one wins. Uh, but I am going to give more keys later on. There are not a lot of people watching the stream, so maybe everyone, if you stick to the end, Probably gonna get a key, to be honest, because I wanna I wanna give a lot of keys, uh, because I don't know I'm really happy <laughs> in releasing the second game, even though the second game it was pretty pretty simple and and for free, so I can't give away that key, but I can give away this key. Oh, you got it! That's awesome! So the poor student got it. <laughs> to call who said that uh, yeah, dude, that's awesome! I'm glad that you got it. You know, hopefully you're gonna enjoy the game as well. This game I really, really worked really hard to make the game. So con congrats, man. So see, you have a, a great internet connection, I suppose, right? <laughs> awesome, awesome, really glad. So so this is the key that he got. You can play this game. I'm gonna play this game later on to show you guys, pretty cool. But now let's play the game that we released. The game that we created from scratch on live stream. And then in the end, there will be cake. We will celebrate with cake. What skills do you have when it comes to game development? Do you do everything yourself? Well, I did for this game everything myself. So this is the game that uh, I released entirely, that I created entirely on a live stream that I was releasing today. So this game we're releasing today, I created everything myself, including the music, so. Yeah. So yeah, this game I created everything myself. Including the art, the music, the code, the text, like the Steam page explaining the game, like the images. So I suppose the marketing, the marketing strategy, the business, like okay, I'm gonna do like a free DLC for the source code, and a, but I pay what you want on each IO. Did you press save button on Handmade Network? I think they have to approve that uh, as the progress. I'm pretty sure I pressed the save button, but I'm gonna check that again. Yes, I did press. It's on uh, maintenance mode. Yeah, I did press the save. I'm gonna press again. 
<laughs> but uh, yeah, I did press, but they have to approve that. Uh, so, so yeah, I do. I did manage to get pretty much every skill required at some point, right? At one level, I'm not like a perfect artist or a perfect musician and stuff, but I do know how to make like I do know what it requires to make a game from scratch because this game, which my the game that I didn't do by myself, I focused primarily on the game design and the program, and I was also the director and the producer. And, and you know, to be honest, if if you were to ask me what was the single thing that I that I learned the most in this project, was uh, how to be a producer because I was the director and the producer and uh, it was a huge project and we were all students we didn't actually know how to make a game no one on the team had released a game uh, especially like on the PS4 which was what we released the game on so it was really hard so I really had to you know I really had to adapt and uh, make sure that everything worked I was also had to program a lot and I didn't actually know how to program back then so it's pretty pretty ad hoc so that was a bummer. Uh, so yeah, it wasn't as robust as we wanted it to be because we, was, we weren't very good at that time. That's the point, man. We only get good by making, right? So I, I but I, really, I learned a lot about game design as well. So after this game, I decided I need to take a step back. So that's why I focused on programming. So I spent like one year just studying programming, like for real. And then now I'm pretty confident that uh, I'm a way better programmer than I was. Hopefully a game designer as well, and hopefully a game producer and a game creator. I like like the game. I like the term filmmaker, something like game maker. I really like that term because it says that you make games. Like it doesn't matter. You just you want to make the game, so you you have to release it, right? Have to make it. Uh, I really like that term, but the engine game maker kind of uh, ruined that term. It's kind of a bummer. So you can say like game developer and stuff. I think on my YouTube I say game develop game maker. I don't know. I don't know what I say on my YouTube channel. Game developer. Yeah, I say game developer. But I really like game maker. I really like that term. Even Mark Browns uh, wrote that game maker stuck it, right? Because game maker is a pretty cool term, like filmmaker. But yeah, so I learned a lot about the whole thing, the, all the processes of game development. But uh, if I were to like, like to say which one I like the most or which one I think I'm the best at, uh, it's probably programming. But uh, I really like design as well and producing. I'm really like, liking to make music as well, but I'm still learning very much that. But I do have to make music to learn how to make music, right? So that's why I'm making for these smaller projects. Uh, but if I want to do like a, huge, a bigger game, I'd probably hire better artists and better musicians and stuff. Okay, so let's play the game. Let's see what the game that we spent 72 hours on a live stream creating to see. And, and this, this video probably has to be the first one or something like that, right? Because you can see the whole thing. You see this video, and see us releasing the game, and you can be like, okay, I think it's worth watching the whole development. I think I'll be able to learn, and you'll see what you learn, like animations and uh, how it feels and stuff. Okay? I'm gonna make it full screen for you guys to see. Let's see. Uh, okay. So now it's full screen. And then let's play the game. Let's play the game. Can you guys see? You guys can see. Awesome. So I already have a save game, but let's start in the beginning. So yeah, it was awesome to add those animations. I can still see chat on my other computer. I have like my laptop here. So if you guys want to chat about anything while we are on a live stream, while I'm playing the game, you can certainly do so. So this is the game that we released. It started out as a pretty much clone of Breakout. That was the idea. The idea was to apply Breakout in different games, so we first copied Breakout, but I wanted to add like cool stuff like particle systems and uh, make it feel a little nicer to add like cool animations and cool audio to make like a mo more modern version of it, I suppose, right? So that was the first step. Do you participate in jams? I do! I do participate in jams. Uh, I, in fact, I have just, I have just did, I did a, a game for the community game jam, it was like a couple weeks ago, like two or three weeks ago. That was pretty cool, I really liked it. Uh, it's on my HIO page. It's a... Uh, I really want to do like... Bigger games now, to be honest. But I, I can't dedicate full time on games yet. I still... I work with uh, enterprise software and stuff. So yeah, I can't do like a full big game uh, uh, yet. Again, right? I can do that again. For uh, some time. So... So, yeah, jams are kind of like the middle ground, right? Because they're kind of short. But the thing about jams is that they still require a lot of work. 
because you're gonna work, I don't know, like at least 80 hours if it's like a one week jam. Or if it's like a, a 70, 72 hour jam, you're gonna work, I don't know, 42 hour jam, right? You're gonna work like for the two days and then you're gonna be wrecked at the end, right? So you, you do need time for, for, for the jam, right? So I think I'm not gonna do jams for, you know, for the next couple of months. Maybe next year I'm gonna do like the global game jam, who knows? Uh, but hopefully at that point I'll, I'll have like a, a, a more cool like platform to make game engines on. Dude, that was nuts. I think because I'm live streaming. Dude, I just caught that, that was awesome. So this breakout is like, okay, I'm uh, trying to get both the power-ups and the ball. Kind of missed. Should have chosen one. So this uh, breakout is breakout with power-ups. So this like... The first thing we implemented, people, you know, had, had the idea for a few power-ups on stream. So like, okay, let's implement like a couple power-ups. I had a couple ideas as well. So that's the first, the other breakout that we did after the uh, normal ones. I suppose the correct term would be Arkanoid, like we discussed last stream. But yeah, now it's too late, I suppose. Okay, let's just try finishing this game mode, and then there will be the cool game modes, the ones that really make this game a little bit. Yeah, this is Breakout Pong. So, same thing as Breakout, but now it's Pong. But instead of trying to score a goal, we have to destroy the other enemy, right? Like... It's, awesome. it's really cool when I, when I manage to get the ball behind. Okay, oh, I got that part down as well. Okay, this, this is kind of hard. It's really cool the way he, he, he shapes the screen. Whenever I, uh, yeah, whenever he hits the wall, that, that was a pretty cool addition. Yeah, see, I kind of got the ball behind him there for a second. Okay, then. I'm trying to, okay, oh my god, there's a lot of text to read. But I, oh my god, let's see. Uh, the theme for each IO's weekly jam just dropped, life is short. That's not a very, uh, Unfamiliar theme. I, 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 I think I've seen that theme before. I'm trying to decide whether to join or not. I think it's a great experience, man. I, uh, if you go to my YouTube channel, which is youtube.com slash Dan, you can watch a video I did on this game jam, the community game jam that I did. And it was kind of a motivational video or whatever for game jams and, and games in, in general. And I think you're going to really like that. Uh, watch that video. Uh, I'm not gonna stop the game. Oh, maybe I can stop if I finish. If I manage to get this. Yeah, okay. So let me show you what I mean. Uh, if you go to my YouTube channel, which is utah.com slash Dan, I'm gonna throw the link on the chat for that video. Uh, this video, which is uh, why I love making games, making up a one week in development uh, process. This game is, uh, this video was pretty cool. It's kind of a making up video as well as like a motivational why I love, why I love making why I love making games kind of video. And I think you're gonna be really inspired to make your your game jam based on this video, because it, to be short, like the long story short, like you get the whole package, right? You're gonna feel like the excitement of making a game, the the tenseness, the the happiness to release, the sadness of thinking the game sucks, the happiness of thinking the game's awesome. You're gonna see all the, the emotions. Of, uh, of making the game. So I think it's a very valuable kind of a micro experience of game development that you're able to do without thinking about quitting. And another thing, it's also awesome to be on the community on the community forums during the game game because you're gonna be really motivated. That's pretty cool as well. Okay, let's let's go back. Let's go back to playing the game. Let's play a little bit more of the game. Okay, so we finished Pong, let's keep Tetris. So it is a pretty small game. You can finish that in a few minutes. But uh, it's cool. It's not supposed to be like a super long, like story-driven or like a immersive game. Immersive, like with emergent, emergent game, like with tons of stories that you can make and stuff. Just to, supposed to be a cool game. Yeah, and I have a lot of things open, so my frame rate, to be honest, is not. No, it is. It's pretty cool. It is. I shouldn't make that uh, show frame rate also configurable in the release build. It's only for the development build, though. But the game runs pretty well. We optimized that pretty well. We could have could have spent more time on it if we wanted. But to be honest, the game is it's not it's not that much going on. Except when you got like the comments on the space invaders. Oh my god, I think. Okay, this one. 
minutes, yes. You didn't get that one. Okay. Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see. Awesome. So, yeah, that particle system was the last thing we added in the game. The particle system when we uh, when it rotates to make that a little bit bigger feedback. People wanted to people, not people, ADM, right? Wanted a more explicit feedback like rotating that linearly and stuff. But uh, that'll be that'll take a long time, and and uh, that's the thing. You also you also feel that uh, engine and uh, game gym game gyms as well. It's like in the end, you just want to release the game. So it's kind of a conflicting thing. You want to release the game as quick as you can. But you also want to, to make the game the best as you can, right? There's a sweet spot there. Do you still have a cheat button in release version? I don't! I don't have a cheat uh, button. I don't. Uh, I, <laughs> I kind of just checked because, I don't know, maybe I forgot to, to, to uh, remove. But I learned my lesson. Uh, well, not that I, I had like a, a bad story about that, like Blackthorn Prod has a, a pretty bad story on that. Because the game released with the actual cheat button to go to the last level on the first level or something. That, that's pretty bad. But uh, my cheat button was... I was a uh, if deft. so if only I was in development field. So, yeah, it's, you have to do that, absolutely, because it's pretty easy to forget, to remove things in random scripts, right? So you should really just add a, like, an if development build, then you can enter cheat codes, yeah. So, no cheat codes for you guys. Although, it would be cool to add cheat codes. I mean, this game is simple enough that it doesn't deserve cheat codes. Not that it doesn't deserve them, I mean, it doesn't uh, pay off, I suppose. But, uh, uh, but yeah, if there were more options for the player, cheats would be, would be cool. Because it's a free game and we don't really care about single player free games. We don't really care about how correct the game is. All we care about is the player having an interesting time and enjoying and engaging, right? Okay. You know what? Are we finishing the game? Hey, what's up? Hey, man! How are you doing? We just released the game! We just released the game on Steam! The game is now available for everyone in the world! Even, like, people, like, really far from me to play and uh, enjoy and hopefully get to watch the development as well and learn about game making. So, that's it! We're playing the final release on Steam. And unless a huge thing explodes here, we are done, pretty much, to be honest. It would be, it would be, well, it would be amusing for you guys, not for me though, to have like a huge crash here that we would have to debug and stuff. But uh, <laughs> but we, I think we did a pretty good, a pretty good job in the last couple of streams to make sure that everything was solid, especially the audio system. That was pretty cool. So yeah, that's what's up, man. We released the game. So we're this is the celebration stream. It's not a development stream. Development ended last stream. This this stream is just having fun. Um, you know. Celebrating the, the release, second my second release, I gave away a lot of keys. I'm gonna give, give away more keys for my other game, which is on discount right now, but uh, it's for like four dollars. But if you wanna try to, to to get it for free, I'm gonna give them a couple more keys. I'm gonna give more keys away now, and then I'm gonna then I'm, they'll be cake. They will be cake, you know, because we are celebrating, right? And how can we celebrate if there won't be cake in the end, right? But uh, is the cake a lie? I don't know. I, I can smell the cake. I've been smelling the cake for hours. <laughs> yeah, this lab is pretty cool because in the end, it's supposed to be really hard to finish, but it and it is because this ball, the balls are pretty small. But in the beginning, since we had we did the like neighbor system, that was pretty cool. The neighbor system was a good ad, good addition to the gameplay. It was one of the things that uh, it's kind of hard to think about that beforehand. But when you implement, oh, we finished. Awesome. Where are the hookers? <laughs> you can't see, they're off camera. <laughs> they're off camera right here. I see like five hookers. They're right there. Say hi. See, they just said hi. And uh, you guys don't, don't get to see them. Maybe you guys will get to see the cake. Maybe. I don't know. But another hookers, the hookers are private. They're really separate. Well, you have to press three buttons, three green buttons in order to have the hookers. And I, I, I did the work of pressing the buttons, right? Even though you guys were able to watch me, you know, get the first... I, I don't really... I, I think we 
I think we even added the, the folders on screen, the, like the directories. I don't remember if we added directories or not on stream, but uh, I think we did like literally everything on stream. Like creating the file and stuff. That was pretty cool. Okay, uh, beat high score to see one hooker. Are there any plans for future streams? There are plans. Uh, I am going to do a full source code walkthrough, like reviewing what we did like in every day and uh, how the game tracks for people who want to play around the source code. So I want to do that. I'm going to do that probably probably uh, in the beginning of next week. So I'm going to do this kind of a stream to review this stream, right? Uh, to, to see like, okay, if you want to download the source code, and want to play around with the colors, or want to play around with the speed, or like, going to create your own game mode, or if you want to change, whatever. Then I'm going to do a stream where I'm going to show the source code, like do a walkthrough of the source code. So that's the plan for the next stream. There's another one as well that I kind of forgot. I have written there somewhere. But, uh, but then I'm going to start a new game project on stream. It's going to be, I think it's going to be simpler than this one. I don't think I'm going to add full things like menu and... Uh, transitions and stuff like we did because I already showed how to do that on this stream but this game is supposed to be the game that I will build the tutorial next because this uh, if you go to my YouTube channel you can see that the tutorial series how to make a game C++ is pretty much done uh, we, we pretty much finished the gameplay next time around we're gonna we're gonna do like a menu in the next tutorial which is gonna release next week and then the other week we're gonna publish this game on each IO and this tutorial will be done this was a pretty simple tutorial, like it's gonna be like seven stars or something. So uh, after that, I'm gonna start a new tutorial series. And for tutorial series, people have asked a lot for OpenGL. So I am going to do an OpenGL tutorial series, uh, and then I'm gonna do a shmup probably. And so I'm gonna I'm gonna build the the game on stream before, so we can play around uh, with that before I do the tutorials. The tutorials are edited, right? The tutorials like have like little animations and stuff that I made. They're like... They incremented every like I draw stuff, and then I edit. The so, yeah, these are a little bit more work to create, but I need the game. So I think I'm going to stream the game using SDL and OpenGL. That would be pretty cool, I think. Uh, and after that, I have a huge project in mind. Okay, after that, I have a huge project in mind. And I think that would be pretty cool. It's going to be a huge project, but in incremental steps, because I want to be able to finish it. But uh, that'll be pretty cool. And that will be pretty advanced. This game is going to be pretty It's going to be pretty easy, I suppose. Not super crazy concepts and stuff, like meta programming and stuff. But the other games, the other, the other project, all bets are off. Okay, so that's what I'm going to do next. But uh, next week, you can expect a stream to recap this game, which is going to be pretty cool. Okay, so I am going to give away... More keys for the game, guys. I saw your project has been added to the Hamming Network. It, it was. It was. I was super happy that that happened. Uh, if you go to the to the Hamming Network, you can see we are we're actually, yeah, we're on the front page. Ha, that's awesome. With my video there. I'm going to see if I'm going to get like a little bump on, a, on, a, on, the, on the views and stuff. But I was super happy because I really like the, the people on the Hamming Network. They're great people. They really, uh, they really want to create cool, uh, cool things, solid things, and to be able to be there is a really makes me really happy. And uh, it was great. So I added a few blog posts. I even uh, added that on stream today. We, we we wrote that blog post there. It's been a one hour. Wow, the stream's been long. So I'm gonna end that and uh, we're gonna play the other games and eat the cake as well. <laughs> uh, and uh, yeah, people already interacted here in the forums and stuff. That was pretty cool. So I'm also really happy to, to see. So these are the plans and that's my happiness. Okay, I'm gonna give away two keys for my game. Okay, so this game that I just saw me play is available for free on Steam. You can download that for free as well as the free DLC for the source code. So everything is free that we're releasing today. However, my other game I created and I released two years ago, there was like three and a half years of development. That was a lot of work. I put a lot of heart into it. You know, it's pretty cool. This is a top-down shooter and platformer. Oh, I think I still have audio. Here, yeah, okay. <laughs> uh, so this game, it has, uh, I put a huge discount, so it's only like $4. So you can, you can uh, download the game for $4, but I'm gonna give away two keys now. 
I'm going to show the keys on my screen, links to both games. Okay, so this is the game that uh, I just released. Break Arcade Games Out. This is the game I just released that you guys saw the entire development on stream. Uh, and this is the link to the game that I'm going to give away now for free, the Steam key. This game I uh, released two years ago and it was a lot of work, three and a half years, and it was really, it was really awesome. Yeah, this is like the trailer. Yeah, really cool, right? So, okay, so the way I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna show the Steam keys on my on my screen, and you guys are gonna have to copy to to Steam, okay? And there were already a lot of cool winners, right? And uh, so if you wanna if you wanna win, get ready. So I'm gonna show you, and you have to type really fast. I'm gonna show two keys, okay? I'm gonna count to three, then I'm gonna show, okay? So one, two, three. There you go. These are the keys for Iliosis Hunt. I'm gonna keep them there for a while for people to type. Okay, if you, if you got a key and you have like you are logged in Twitch and stuff, be sure to drop a comment on the chat because it'll be pretty cool to see who gets the key, who got the key. We did a couple of tests and the keys are good to go. <laughs> okay, and let me know if any of you guys got a key. Uh, well, some somebody got the keys, right? If nobody, I'm gonna drop them on chat in case uh, I just drop it on chat in case people didn't get the keys and stuff. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna give more keys away. But according to plan, let me show the plan. Uh, well, let me show you the plan. According to plan, we already played the game, and now we're supposed to celebrate in the cake. Is the cake a lie or not? And then we can review this. I don't think I'm going to review the source code this stream. We can do that next stream. This stream is being kind of long. So, cancelled. And then we're going to play the game again. Play the Osis Hunt to show you guys the game. Then we're going to give away more keys. Uh, the cake is not a lie, guys. I did actually got cake to celebrate the Steam release. Look at that. This cake is a uh, carrot and chocolate. Which is great. So, I am going to celebrate the Steam release, eating cake. You are super welcome to do so if you do have a cake there or something. But the, but the plan is you have to celebrate. Because, I don't know if you enjoyed the whole development. If you did, if you're watching this from the future, and you watch the whole thing, the, all the episodes on YouTube, you are entitled to eat some cake. So, if you don't have a cake right now, and you are from the future, you can pause the, the, the video and get some cake. Okay, and then you can continue and eat the cake with me. Uh, yes, or if you have wine. Recursive chat has wine and he's sipping wine. I suppose it's equally valid as a celebration uh, beverage. <laughs> okay, I'm just going to open up the uh, live streams before I actually eat the delicious cake. Uh, the entire thing, man, is, is there. So you can, you can watch the entire game. If there's one particular thing you liked about the game, like the async audio, or how how or how how to make the full screen? How to do the config file parsing? How to do the like the animations or the multi thread editor, whatever? You can watch the whole thing, and and you can celebrate. Couple T would do. Couple T is also good for a celebration. Uh, it's not as exciting as chocolate. Depends on the T, right? But uh, but yeah, the thing is, having the game released on Steam is a is a reason for celebration. So let us all. Celebrate the, the game released on Steam by eating some cake, wine, or tea, whatever, whatever you have there. Mm. Awesome. If you have any questions, just drop them on the chat. I'll try to answer that. I am going to give a couple more keys uh, in a while as well. So for the other game, for this game, Iliosis Hunt. I'm also going to play this to show you guys, in case you guys like it or not. But it's uh, it's on discounts, like $4. It's a special day tea. What tea are you drinking? Uh, if it's a special day tea. I'm not very, I don't know much tea, much about tea. Uh, 
I did drink a chai latte because of John Blow <laughs> because I was like in a tea shop, tea shop, and they had a uh, chai latte, so I, I had to, to try that because I am the hype train for the chai latte, right? But it's a great tea. I really liked it. Let's keep eating the cake here. Hmm. Hmm. Great. Oh, so good. We deserve this cake. No idea, it just says it's really special, okay? <laughs> if it says it's special, it's good enough, man. It's good enough. Because when I release the game, it's kind of a, <laughs> kind of a, uh, I don't know, anticlimactic story. When I release this game, you can imagine, three and a half years, working full time, pouring your love, your heart, and your soul into the game. When you release, and I didn't have a plan on what to do afterwards. I didn't have a plan for like DLC, for like events to go. I, I didn't have anything planned. I was like, okay, finish the game, release it. And that was a huge mistake. Because when I when I finally released it, I was like so empty. I didn't know what to do. I didn't know who I am. Because I was, I was, uh, uh, you know, I was identifying as the developer of this game. This is who I was, right? I was waking up. And when I go to sleep, I was thinking, okay, how much of the game I progressed? And then I would uh, be happy or sad based on how much of the game I progressed every day. It's like finishing your favorite game series. Yeah, exactly, man. But it's like it's a like three and a half year games series, right? Or a movie, exactly. And I was like super empty. So I was like, what do I do now? And uh, I knew that the game wasn't gonna sell a lot, and it didn't. So it's kind of weird because I wasn't I was expecting a commercial failure, and I got it. But it's still kind of sad to get it, <laughs> even even though a lot of people liked the game, had a lot of positive reviews, even though that happened, uh, and I was expecting it not to sell. It was kind of sad. So I remember that I, I pressed the three green buttons, right? The three green buttons we pressed today. I was like, okay, what do I do? I don't know. Let's just go out and, and I don't know. We didn't even go out to celebrate because there was any there wasn't any food here. So my brother and I just went out and just bought I don't know whatever had in a the coffee shop here so that day was kind of reminded as a uh, oh and the game was also released one day before my 20th birthday so my my 20th birthday was like 16th of august 2017 and the game the, the game released one day uh before that uh hi how are you hi oh, what can you say about them dude I remember your name, Dream Vodka Play Dotka. Uh, I think you asked about Vim already, did you not? I don't know, Vim's a, is a good actor. I don't use Vim. I haven't used it for, uh, for any serious work. I like Four Coder a lot. That's all I can say about Vim. <laughs> I'm just eating cake, celebrating, telling stories about this game. So when this game released, I, I, I didn't even celebrate. I was just, oh my God, what do I do? I'm worried, I'm worried about my life, worried about my future. So I just went with my brother to this, I don't know, coffee shop, just ate like a, some random food there and just went back home and felt, I don't know, felt empty, not happy, not sad, not depressed, but empty. So right now I'm feeling, I'm feeling hot because it's really hot here, <laughs> but I'm feeling really happy to celebrate with you guys. It's awesome to release with you guys, press all the buttons to release the game. Mm. Happy birthday. <laughs> well, it was 16th of August, right? It was funny because I was I wanted to release before my 20th birthday. Or was it my 21st birthday? I don't remember. Oh, it was my 21st. So yeah, because I wanted to say that I released the game on the PS4 when I was 20 years old. But I was almost 21. But 21 doesn't have that ring to it, right? So I was like, oh, I released the game when I was 20. Yeah, one day after, one day before, I was making 21, right? <laughs> so, yeah, that's why, that's why I decided to drive to that. Yeah, and the game was ready. I, I, I just wanted to get rid of it to do, to do, I don't know what, what I wanted to do afterwards. I tried to make a lot of games afterwards. With some friends and stuff. But none of them got released. This is my second release. Today, I just released this game that you can download for free. It was my second big release, big Steam release. Oh, this is not such a big release like the other one. The other one was like, I don't have tea, but I have ice cream. You know, I kind of wish I had ice cream now 
because it's really hot and I think I will appreciate ice cream more than cake. But this cake is delicious. And the cake also has a nice, a nice celebration ring to it. And also, I, I could do like the mystery thing that, will the cake be a lie? It wasn't a lie. Mmm. It's really good though. So yeah, this is my second game on stream. And as we said in the beginning, the third time is the charm. So the third game I'm gonna release, I don't, re I don't really know what game it's gonna be. I have a, a lot of ideas, right? Of course. <laughs> but uh, I, want it, I want it to be like a more commercial game and stuff, like, like this game. So hopefully third time will be the charm, right? That, that's the point. That's the point. Almost done with the cake and the celebration for what is the game. Mm. It's awesome, man. Awesome. Let's see if that if that review came through. Because it says five creators. You know what? Let me finish the cake. In case you have the, the negative review, I want to finish the cake first. Just not to be emotionally uh, uh, <laughs> affected. Fourth, always worth. Oh, I didn't know there was a fourth. Saying, is that one for like every number ever? <laughs> I suppose it makes sense, right? Because my friends who managed to get more commercial success than I in terms of game development, I just made it up. <laughs> okay, <laughs> hmm. but that's a real thing. I mean, uh, people usually say around my friends and stuff that it's the Tenth game that you're really gonna be successful, right? And uh, so you have to release ten games. I don't know if these games count. The games I released on HIO. I suppose they might count. So in this case, like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. In this case, I have two more games before my my success, right? <laughs> but I don't know. I really like making games as a hobby, though. If you, like I said in the beginning of the stream. The way I'm approaching this release, compared to the way I approached this game's release, Iliosa's Hunt release, I'm really uh, more lighter, uh, happier, and uh, I don't know, easier. Although, they, they are going to make the same amount of money, which is pretty much nothing, right? <laughs> so that's not, that's not going to change in terms of like financial success, but it will change in terms of like my personal uh, feeling of success and uh, of the launch, not the development. The development of this game was awesome, awesome, awesome. Awesome. The launch wasn't. <laughs> and the launch and the release and like and the the afterwards, right? Because I, I haven't made any game with anyone in this team anymore. Because everyone kind of followed their own way, right? Uh, they try each one try to make money in a different way. Uh, most of them aren't even games. You know what? I think no one except well, to be honest, I am not even in games to be honest, because this is just a hobby for fun, right? But I don't think they even do for fun. I think no one making games anymore that from from this team Leo's hunting which is kind of a bummer because we learned a lot right last piece mm. Mm. pretty good okay I'm gonna give away more keys for the game I'm gonna give away one key for the game or two keys I have one key or two keys for the game Mm. Awesome, I really like chocolate. Okay, so I'm gonna give away one key for the game. Okay, so I'm gonna give you one, one key for this game that uh, that I, I released two years ago. And uh, this game you can feel, I, I don't know, I think the people who said, uh, just, just made it, yeah. uh, I think people who, who like this game said that they really loved they, they really felt the love in this game. I think that's the biggest thing. This game was really made with love. Uh, the, the other game, this game was made lightheartedly. I mean, really light made the game. And uh, it was a lot of fun. So this game is more fun, right? Uh, and also a learning ex exercise for me and for you guys. But this game, you can feel like the sweat, <laughs> right? <laughs> but not, right now, I can smell the sweat because it's pretty hot. But, uh, but yeah, I'm going to give away a key for this game, though. If you don't get the key, you can just download the game. It's like $4 now. The normal price is like ten dollars, nine ninety nine, which is really cheap, I think. Uh, 
for this kind of game. We we yeah, we kind of a uh, we added a lot of detail and stuff made with the Unreal Engine, so we kind of a uh, made sure it looks pretty good and stuff. Our team, okay. So I'm gonna count to to three, and then I'm gonna show one key for this game on live stream. So be sure you're ready to type the key on Steam. Okay, so I'm gonna show the the, the key. You have to type the key really fast to be the first one. Okay, you guys ready? So I'm gonna show the key. Be sure you're ready to type the key there. So three, two, one. There you go. Type. Are you done? Someone's almost done? Okay, did you get it? If you got it, let me know in the chat. That's pretty cool. When uh when Tukal got the key, that was pretty cool to see that he got the key. That's pretty fun. Okay, I am going to give more keys by the end. But uh, I'll just play a little bit more. Let's play some games. Uh, I'm gonna play Yosa's Hunt now. Then we can play the game. We can play break our game. Game. We can play break arcade games out at the very end, just to show what we release and stuff. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna open up Yosa's Hunt. Is the audio okay for you guys? I'm gonna turn that a little bit up. Let me just see about. Let me see the audio. Let's see. Yeah, I think it's kind of good. Maybe too loud. Yeah, okay. I think it's good. So, let's play the game. This game was was made using the Unreal Engine. And, uh... Yeah, it was made uh, using the Unreal Engine. And it was, uh... A lot of fun. I mean, we tried it. We tried a lot to to really make it something special, right? So let me try to make a new game. Yeah, I got 105 percent on this save slot. Uh, sorry for the possible rude question, but what do you do for a living? It's not rude, man. It's okay. Uh, I have a company that I develop RPA software. So I developed software to help uh, process automation. Okay, so yeah, that's what I do. Uh, but like two months ago, I was working on a startup that did like inter help people get internships. So I do all sorts of crazy stuff, right? Uh, my brother helps. Uh, is a really uh, oh my god, the battery is dying on my on my laptop. I have like thirteen minutes. Yeah, let's play just for a little bit. So yeah, that's what I do now. I have a software company, and uh, and on my free time when I, when I don't have like a huge demand and stuff. I make games for fun. That's why I don't tackle projects this big anymore. Yeah. Okay, so let, let's let's make the game. So I, we created like this cutscene. That's pretty cool. I think the item may be too low, I think. It's too low for me. It's awesome to play this game. I mean, <laughs> I, I I just I just told the kind of a the non climactic story of the release of the game. After the release, I didn't play the game for like months because I was so afraid I could find a lot of bugs, and I, I actually couldn't fix them because of like I was afraid that I would break more stuff. I wasn't very confident in terms of the, like the code and the project and the structure. So yeah. This game was like, oh, I hope there isn't like some huge bug because I have a hard time fixing it. I did release, I did do, a, I think one or two patches though. Yeah, one or two patches for the game. But uh, yeah, in terms of like, in terms of like the actual longevity of the game, that was pretty much nothing. Let me just see if you, get, if you guys can hear well. Yeah, I think I'm gonna increase the volume a little bit for you guys. Okay, so there you go. So the idea of the game, there's like a platformer and uh, a shooter as well. So it's kind of a kind of a, cla uh, a crash bandicoot meets Matter Slug, right? So you can like activate checkpoints. And then there's like the platforming parts, and then you can dash, there's like a couple cool mechanics. Yeah, 
And then you can also destroy checkpoints. That was pretty cool. If you destroy checkpoints, you get faster. And part of the fun of the game is, is for you to try to get the speed runs and try to be really fast and stuff. That's one of the, the, the most interesting, interesting things about the game. So we had the destroy checkpoint mechanic was pretty cool because you had to make a choice like, but I destroy checkpoints, so I'll take a longer, I will take a, a lot of a lot of time to get where, to where I am now, or not. Well, the battery of my laptop just died, which is a bummer. So I don't think I'll be able to play for too long because I can't see chat. And uh, well, I'm trying to get a. I think I'm gonna try to get like a. I'm gonna try connecting that to, to the power or something. Let me try this. Yeah, that was pretty cool. Yeah, okay, so you guys wait one second while I get the energy here. One second. Okay, I got it, but I think the laptop died anyway, so I had to restart, whatever. They maybe do like a Windows update or something. I don't know if you guys are talking or not in the chat. I should have done that before, but that's okay. Better late than never, I suppose. So yeah, I just want to play this game a little bit. It's kind of feel good. Kind of a compensate. Kind of a compensate. This game's release that was kind of an anticlimactic. By uh, kind of enjoying my other games release, right? On Steam and playing both of them. To kind of a. Uh, to kind of, uh, I don't know, remember and celebrate games release in general, right? I think that's a pretty good thing. So, yeah, this is the boss right now. For the first level. There you go. Let me just log in here. That was the first level. Okay, now I'm back. I'm back seeing chat. I am gonna give away a couple more keys at the end of the stream. We need a, a handmade Twitch chat overlay. <laughs> well, that will be useful. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, but uh, yeah, I, I didn't actually spend any time at all like learning about Twitch and stuff. Maybe I should. Let me just make sure if I didn't miss anything. While it was out, yeah, it was. Uh... No, yeah, I didn't miss anything. Okay. So see, uh, the goal is to finish this mission in two two minutes. In order to do that, I can like update my character and stuff, and then. Uh, then I can just like destroy checkpoints and now I know which checkpoints are nice to destroy and stuff, so that's pretty cool. It's a pretty cool game. I really like the basic idea. There were a couple of like mistakes of execution, but that, that's the thing that I said. I mean, you only learn by making, right? More games. So like, maybe I'm, maybe I'm gonna like upgrade my air control and my dash. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Let's go to the next level. Just gonna play a couple more levels. I finished them pretty quickly. Because it's it's a pretty hard game, so uh, to be honest, it usually would take a little bit longer to finish these levels. But uh, I am a developer, right? After all. So yeah, each level is very different from one another in terms of like the art and the mechanics. 
which was really cool to develop, but it was very hard to like to develop as well, right? Because we couldn't reuse monsters, we couldn't reuse like most of the stuff. Yeah, but it was it was great. You know, when I played this game, kind of a, I feel really really like the way that uh, I remind about, about all the cool stuff that I did. Oh my god. I should have gotten with eights in the upgrade menu instead of dash, I suppose. So yeah, this game is right now in promotion, so we just released the other one again. You can play this game as well. Yeah, and it's funny because uh, right now this game wouldn't take three and a half years to make at all. But I probably would want to make it from scratch. <laughs> <laughs> Instead of using Unreal, then it would probably take three and a half years to make. I don't know. At this point, I don't know if I could make this game without using an engine, to be honest. But I want to get to the point that hopefully, in a, oh my god, yeah, it's gonna be hard. Uh, I think I'm gonna get to. A, I want to get to a point where I will be able to make like 3D games like this, like 3D platforms and shirts and stuff, uh, with a custom engine. That would be awesome. Yeah, let's go, let's go, let's go. Awesome. Awesome. Why not? Sure you can. I don't know, man. We were talking about motivation earlier. The stream, like, like being productive. Uh, and about, you know, tackling a challenge that is perfect for you. I don't think... Uh, 3D game engine is a good challenge for me right now. Uh, 2D game engine is, and that's what I want to do. I want to certainly do an awesome, like a, the best 2D game engine ever created on this planet. I want to do it. But uh, 3D is going to take a couple, couple of years, this book. And then uh, when I do manage to, when I do decide to do a 3D game, then I go back. I can go back and make these sorts of games, right? Uh, which is what I really like. I really like making more complex games full of battles and different enemies and stuff. It's really awesome. If you think about what the, the, the engine that this game ran on, which is Unreal, it's made up of 17 million lines of code. Sure. Sure, I, I, I didn't use all of that, that's for sure. Maybe I used like, I don't know, 20%. Maybe 30%, I don't know. I, I don't know. But uh, the, the advantage of making a custom engine is that it's really specific. And that's the same thing for the small game that we just released today. The game we just released, we managed to do that with no engine because we solved a specific problem for that game in terms of engine, right? If you were, if you were to make like a full 2D, generic 2D engine, which is a nice challenge that I want to uh, try to do, right? But it's a, a different beast of its own, right? I mean, because it has to work for all sorts of different games. It has to be generic enough, but easy to use, like for simple games, for complex games and stuff. That's the thing. So, I'm not sure how easy it would be to make, or, or how hard it would be the best way to put it, a uh, game engine for this game in particular. Because, I mean, it has some pretty, pretty crazy rendering stuff, like, see? Has some like shader animations in Bloom and like depth of field, and it you know has tons of triangles on the screen. Yeah, mostly mostly the rendering, I suppose, like 2D elements along with 3D elements and like animations on 2D and like particle systems and skeletal meshes and stuff. Yeah, it wouldn't it wouldn't be trivial. And I, and I certainly don't. I don't. Yeah, it would take a long time for me to do that. If I were to do that now, try to get this right. Yeah, see, it's, it's pretty awesome. I suppose, with the, with the bloom and stuff. There are early lens flares. You can see this in this post processing. Because look how the post processing would change. Yeah, see? So, yeah. That's pretty cool. But those things, kind of a 2, 2D, also, 2D also needs, but uh, in a smaller scale, I suppose, right? So, that would be a cool thing to experiment. Maybe I can live stream a lot of that. But that'll take a while. For, for now, the, the next game will be. Will be that OpenGL shmup, I suppose. That'll be cool as well. Hopefully, I can focus on uh, good techniques in OpenGL 
Maybe we could do like a, a patch rendering stream. That could be fun. Like optimizing the game to run a patch rank. Yeah, grenades are really, really beneficial to this level. With this boss. This boss is not totally easy. Oh my god. See? See see how that lag happened? Yeah, you guys could see the lag, right? I just got that on my other computer. That's because of garbage collection, man. Garbage collection. See, so those are the things that we wouldn't have if we were to make our own game, right? That's for sure. We wouldn't have garbage. Then if collection. Try to kill this guy really fast. Before his drone kills him. Oh my god. Ah. Uh, let's not talk but, uh, let's not talk about how many allocations and the allocations there in Exactly, man. I mean Of course, when you are as complex as an Unreal Engine, and you need to support both an MMO and a top-down shooter. And all sorts of crazy games, games that are going to spawn a million entities, games that know uh, in the beginning how many entities that it needs, all sorts of different games. It, uh, they, make, they make a couple of decisions that we wouldn't make for this game, and decisions that have like real consequences, like crazy garbage collection that takes like. There was a oh my god, he got the bazooka. That. Uh, uh, that uh, takes a long time and a uh, huge toll on the player. And I was like in the middle of the boss fight and I uh, collected garbage and stuff. Oh man. I think we're gonna need more weapons. The, the kind of the best strategy for, to kill this boss is to go for the drone first or to go for him. But since I, I didn't uh, upgrade my character yet much, like for damage and stuff, I won't be able to kill him that fast. So I have to kill the drone. So that's what I'm gonna do. I think I'm gonna do. I think I'm gonna show just. A little bit more. And then we can uh, finish this stream up. And, uh, and then there'll be the end of the series. See, so let me just uh, destroy the drone. Oh my god, see? This is a 3D view, and it has like weird perspective, and uh, it's supposed to be a top down shooter, but it's like a 3D, I don't know, it's kind of weird. We have like, it's hard to kind of aim in some specific. Thing. So that was one of the one of the lesser, I don't know, robust systems of the game. It was like, <laughs> it's a bummer because the game is a top-down shooter, right? So it's supposed to be easier to aim. Although with a gamepad, it's pretty easy because I do have some pretty strong aim system stuff. So you can see when he's trying to, to aim up. But oh my god, this game is so old in terms of, like, of my experience. Let's, let's kill it, let's kill it, come on. See? Oh my god. And I was like, oh man, if I made this game, today would be so different. But I suppose that's a, a nice price. Uh, well, it's good because it sees how much I evolved, right? But it's bad because I worked so hard, something that could be better. Every time the player lags, it la uh... <laughs> the lags and there should be a screen calling saying that you were you were garbage collected. Well, well, I only have one life, so I do have to be careful now. But uh, to be honest, when uh, the player dies, there is a slow. Oh my God! No, there's a slow motion. So that's a slow motion. There wasn't lag per se, but the other one was uh, that the other one was pretty big lag. You're being garbage collected. See, I already lost the line. See, I already started. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Oh my god. Almost got it. Okay. Okay. Have have one extra line. And all I have to do is kill. I think I can do it. Oh my god, that was such a movie mistake. It sounds awesome, maybe it should, it should be a title for our next game. What, you've been garbage collected? Oh my god, you know, if I die like two more times, I think I'm gonna call it a quit. 
maybe, maybe I can show you guys the other levels. Because it's a hard game, and you're supposed to like, upgrade yourself before you try to tackle these bosses, right? And we did, we did, did manage to find a lot of stuff on this level. So if we succeed, we're gonna get like, oh my god. If you succeed, we're gonna have a lot of uh, those power-ups, like grenades. We should have gotten grenades. Okay, so let's try, let's try. Let's try. Try go directly for him. Before the drone kills him. Okay, he's pretty good. Let's go. Oh my god. Yeah, okay, so the drone killed him. And I missed two of the two shots. Okay. Oh, I got I hit myself. Oh my god. I kind of lost all my life. Yeah, so I think I'm gonna make this. It's been a while since I played this game, to be honest, so... Yeah. <laughs> okay, let me just show you guys, like... Yeah, I can show you guys the other level. This level is pretty cool. This one's my favorite. Uh, it's like in a blue lava volcano. And uh, I think it looks pretty cool, and I really like... I really like the level design of this level as well. So I'm gonna give away a couple more keys, and then we'll finish by playing the game we're actually supposed to be playing. <laughs> no, no, I hope you enjoyed it. To get to see my progress. It's pretty cool because you can see all sorts of stuff in this game. That could be way better. Oh, so see, in this game I, I'm all maxed out, so I have grenades. Which is like really, really awesome for this right checkpoint. My item can last for a long time. Yeah, see, so I already call it the item that's supposed to be here. You can see all sorts of great stuff here. Yeah, this this item is awesome. I really like it. It's like the third level. Yeah, let's, let's just take that a little bit. Yeah, and the thing is, maybe the default character should have been the upgraded character, not the uh, the non-upgraded one, because it's a lot more fun to play with the upgraded character, right? So. So yeah, the game shines when you're all upgraded, when it's really fast and time-based and stuff. And here is like the last, uh, not, not the last, but there's like a pretty cool sequence here. You can see the, the side of the explosion, because we also deal a lot more damage than the other guy, right? This is pretty cool. This is like the chase sequence. If you remember Crash Bandicoot, remember that sequence where you escape the dinosaur or the rock? It was Rock and Crash 1 and the Dinosaur and Crash 3 and stuff. That's the idea for this sequence. And I think that was a pretty sequence, although it's pretty hard. And I love the animation, so every time a meter hits... Oh my god, that was so stupid. We, uh, I had like an additive animation for him to protect his face, I'll look back and stuff. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, see? Even in midair? That's awesome, I really like the animation of this game. Use motion capture for this game, dude. We managed to get it for free, because, because a, a friend uh, was like a coordinator of a motion capture studio in a local university. And the university was like open for us to do whatever we want, so we managed to, yeah. Okay, I think that's it for this game. Uh, that was awesome, I suppose. I wanted to show you guys because, I don't know, sharing, being happy because the game releases kind of uh, makes me remember the other game I released, right? And uh, so I'm gonna give away the final two keys for the game. Okay, let me just play, let me just play the other game just once more. Because, and then I'm gonna finish the stream. Okay, yeah, let me just, uh, just play the game a little bit more. So this game, this is the last stream of this game. This game is the game that we created from scratch using the C programming language entirely on the live stream. So this is the game 
that you saw being created. And uh, if you were here live, you probably even helped. Because uh, there were a lot of suggestions that I added that would love to have me debug or have me improve the game overall with cool ideas and stuff. And that was that was great. That was a great learning exercise for me. That was a lot of fun. And to release this game, it's like a huge feature. To release the game on Steam. So yeah, it's it's a great learning exercise for me. Hopefully for you guys as well. And it was great. I really loved it. So I'm gonna thank you guys again for like the opportunity and for like wanting to share and be part of it. And uh yeah, so let's let's go to the time space invaders. So yeah, and uh, this is it in terms of for these games uh, streams because this game is now uh, done in terms of like the base game. I mean, whatever we had more more ideas for, for levels, and like I said, we could like a Linux support. We could, of course, we could do a lot more stuff in this game, right? But uh, I think these levels are already a huge huge dream, right? So that's it for now. Uh, and hopefully, we can start tackling different games, probably next week. I'm not sure if we're going to start next week. Maybe the week after that, I'm not sure. Uh, so hopefully we can start tackling more games. Uh, more complex games, maybe we'll use like OpenGL to, to, you know, because people really don't want to see hardware accelerate and stuff. But, uh, yeah, and I hope, I hope uh, if, you, if you manage Rock's live stream to the end, right? Uh, I hope this helped you a lot, and you were also motivated to make your own games and see that uh, even cool games. I mean, I think that was a pretty cool game, right? I think it ended up pretty cool, and uh, they, they can be done uh, if you do like one step at a time. If you start like doing a simple render just to be able to draw things on the screen, then start playing around with the gameplay, improving the gameplay idea, improving the gameplay itself, uh, then adding like more systems to draw, to draw, to, to, to do audio. And, uh, and see the bugs and improve them, you can see that step by step we're able to do an awesome game. And we did that in, uh, in uh, 72 hours, 78 hours. And uh, if you imagine that, that we were like dedicating like full time on this game, or a game like this, but uh, that had like, I don't know, bigger commercial ambitions, because this game is free, right? Uh, you can imagine that a lot, of, a lot more could be done, so hopefully this stream was useful for you as a way to learn, as a way to be entertained as well, but as a way to be motivated to make games and to tackle larger projects uh, and larger challenges. Like, if you think this game is kind of easy for you to make, or maybe you think, okay, I think I can make this game, but Unity, whatever. Uh, try any extra challenges, like, okay, I'm gonna try to make this game, but on a live stream, but on a game jam. And uh, because then you'll, you'll become a better programmer and a better game developer, a better game maker, right? And uh, it's also a lot, a lot of fun, to be honest. So, yeah, and uh, yeah. So I'd like to thank you again for watching. And if you have any questions, you can also drop them on the YouTube uh, channel, which is youtubecom slash Dan. I'm going to show the, the links, the final links. There. Just finish this, this guy. Ugh, it's kind of hard. The last one's kind of hard. Not sure I'm going to be able to get them in one shot though, because there may be two shots. Let's see, uh, almost. Okay, now I'm going to get. So yeah, if you have any questions, if you are from like the future and uh, you want to have any questions, you can drop them on the YouTube channel. Oh my god, I was distracted. Okay, oh, one more. And then I'm going to try to answer. You can also use the forums on Heyman Network because uh, other people could also help you. Uh, and there, there's a lot of awesome people there. Oh, okay, you got away. And a lot of awesome people there on Hemi Network and working on different projects. That's it. Dead on. That's perfect. It's perfect. Okay, so let me show you all the links that I discussed. OpenGL, kind of nasty to use without proper abstraction. I'm going to create a render. Uh, well, I'm going to create a render. It's not going to be like a full render abstraction stuff, but we're not going to call OpenGL stuff in the middle of our game code. So that's for sure. We're not going to do that. But uh, we're not going to do like a super robust uh, render for this project. Okay, this project is the first OpenGL project. I don't even think we're gonna use shaders. I'm not sure. People really like shaders though. M maybe I'm gonna use shaders. Uh, yeah, I may, I may use shaders. So it's gonna be more of our OpenGL stuff. Anyways, so uh, we're gonna do like a nice abstraction in, in the case like if you wanna port to DirectX, you can do so without having to remake the entire game. But it's not gonna be a perfect render system. For the other project, after this project, I want to tackle a bigger project. This project is also going to be pretty short. I, I want to finish this one, even the tutorials, this year, still. 
but it's not gonna be a Steam release though. Just an HIO one. Uh, and then the other one, then I'll make a nice render abstraction. Nice one, optimized and easy to use, easy to uh, increase if you wanna do like more stuff. Yeah, then I'm gonna do a proper render. But this one's gonna be pretty cool. So it's not gonna be the best one, it's not gonna be bad. It's gonna be pretty cool, I think. For people to want to learn OpenGL and stuff, right? So, so that's it. Let, let me show you guys two more keys, and then I'm gonna say goodbye, and then we can finish the stream, and then finish the series. It'll be the end of the series, okay? So I'm going to give away two more keys for this game that I released two years ago, which is Iliosis Hunt. It's on discount, so if you didn't get the keys, you can, uh, you can, just, uh, you can just buy it for, for $4 and help me out. That would be pretty cool. Uh, okay, but the game released today. Today's free. Okay, so I'm going, to, I'm going to drop that on the chat again in case people didn't see. So that's Iliosis Hunt. The game I'm going to give away the key now. Okay? So I'm going to show the key on the live stream here on my screen. And whoever types that first on Steam is going to get it. So you, you get your Steam ready, get all ready to type the key or whatever, right? Because I'm going to show you the key. Then I'm going to put back, well, I'm going to show you the key for some time, right? So you can type that. And whoever gets the key, I'm going to show, I'm going to give you two keys, right? Two, two keys to finish this live stream, the last live stream on this series, right? So I'm going to show you guys the key. And whoever types that first is going to get it. Everyone's ready? I'm gonna show the keys right here. In three, two, one. Those are the keys for Eliosis Hunt, the game I spent three and a half years making, and uh, hopefully, and I just I just played it for for a while. Hopefully, you enjoyed that. Uh, hopefully, you had a lot of fun. That was a that was a very chilled stream. I mean, chill. The temperature is really hot, so chilled in the sense of relaxed. Even uh, the oh, we should also see if we got a curator if you got a review for the game. Uh, even though it's a uh, it was uh, the release, we want to report you really lightheartedly. So I think the mission was succeeded. If you are the ones that activate the key, you should drop a comment. I'd love to see that on chat, see whoever got the key. But uh, anyways, I'm going to drop that on the chat. The keys, but probably people already got that. They're probably too fast. <laughs> okay. I activated. Awesome, man. Cooper King. Congrats, man. I hope you enjoy the game. You were really fast, man. Congrats. <laughs> you probably had everything set up right, right right, in the moment. So I hope you enjoy the game. You can play the game. Uh, you can tell me afterwards what you think about it. And uh, hopefully you'll see that uh, we're getting better at making games. You know, That's why you have to release. That's why it's worth paying the 100 bucks on Steam right, to release, even though this game is free, the game we released today. Because it's a great experience. And now we're more confident to release the game, more confident on the bugs, more confident on the systems. You know, and of course, it's a simple game, but we also developed that on like 78 hours, right? Uh, two months of like really not only half time work, but like hobby work, like whenever I could, I streamed, right? So that's it. The game is not done. You can now go to my YouTube channel and watch the entire thing. So if you go to youtube.com slash Dan, oops, Dan, which is my YouTube channel. You can watch this series, Making a Game in C from Scratch, all the way to Steam Launch, which is this live stream. And that's it. You can watch the whole thing. I started by, by you know, introducing, introdu introducing the idea for the game and like how we're going to do this and the whole process, like one step at a time, right? And then we did the gameplay. Let me show you this, this GIF again. That GIF was pretty cool. Well, that video, right? The video of the progress of the game that show uh, how we, yeah, so this was like episode one of the game. It had like a moving rectangle. And then we did the basic gameplay. It was like breakout, but that was pretty bad still. Then it started improving a little bit more about the system that we could use in the game. And then we, you know, played around the colors, and it was, that were like weird collisions and stuff at that point. Then we added like the, 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 some power-ups, some weird game modes that didn't end up in me. So that's the awesome, awesome thing about watching a stream versus watching a tutorial. We have both, right? I'm making both on my YouTube channel. But the tutorial is going to give you like a kind of a false view of how it is like to program the game, right? Although the information will be nicely packed and easy to digest, this, this is the real thing. Watching me make this game live, in this game that's supposed to be solid enough to be released on Steam, right? You'll be able to see us uh, solving bugs and having problems and going back on ideas and uh, trying different things. And not just like, oh, this is the perfect game. So, yeah. If you want to watch more content like this both ways or what you think about, oh, I like videos more like this or more like that, 
Oh, this is start adding like particle systems in the game field, so that was pretty cool. So you can uh, tell me on my uh, my Twitter, which is twitter.com slash Daniel Zaydan, or my YouTube channel. And I hope you like it. So the game is now on Steam. So victory. Victory, if, well, if every project I, uh, I t t take from now on is that successful at this one, I don't know, maybe I'm gonna, I'm gonna conquer the world in terms of cool stuff, <laughs> cool, cool projects. Because that's it. The game's done. It's on Steam. You can download it for free. You can download the source code for free. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you took a lot of value out of it. Oh, let, let's just see if we managed to see the curator. Five curators. We only saw four. Let's see. One, two, three, four. Yeah, only four. Not sure if, if people are going to like the game or not. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, this series of live streams. And uh, I hope you had cake as well in this stream if you managed to watch the whole thing. If you learned a lot, if you enjoyed it. Because you also deserve it. You also deserve it. Because it's a victory to, to go through the process together. And uh, hopefully you can apply that to your own games. And uh, maybe get this game and start modifying it. And start adding a couple of ideas of your own. Okay? And that's it. I really hope to see you next time. Uh, to have a lot more series, a lot more fun, a lot of more interesting projects. Right? Like this one. I hope you enjoyed it. And, uh, and that's it, everyone. Thanks a lot for watching, for supporting this project. <laughs> uh, bye. <laughs>